Hello and a very warm welcome to Crafters TV. It is lovely to have your company for this masterclass on this Wednesday afternoon. I had to think for a second what day it is. It is Wednesday. Yes, it is. It certainly is. I've had confirmation in my ear from Nicola. Phew, it's Wednesday, but we are going to be talking all things Christmas crafting when it comes to this masterclass. I am super excited for this one. I do always say, it, but my favourite time of the year to craft for certainly is Christmas. And I know a lot of you guys at home are exactly the same. And we have got some absolute bargains coming up throughout this show. And of course, lots of amazing inspiration too. Now, before we get over to the lady herself who will be providing that inspiration on this show, I want to let you know of something that you're going to have to move quite quickly on. It's an amazing amazing deal that's happening over on the website it's happening all day today but it is our declining discount offer what that means is start of the day you're starting off taking off 20 percent with the code drop off your order one use code 20 percent off but as we get to three o'clock uk time that's only an hour away less than an hour now we're talking 57 minutes that code it's still going to continue throughout the whole day, but that discount that you'll be getting will be a little bit less. We're not sure exactly what it's going to be yet, but we know it's going to be less than 20%. So if you want to get 20% off your order by using that code DROP in that promo code box, you need to get that order placed within the next hour. So within that first hour of this masterclass to get that 20% off. It does exclude any of your August launches, but July launches are included. Items that we've got as part of this uh, masterclass included, just not your August launches, your machines or your gift cards. So it's just your standard T's and C's when it comes to that one. But make sure you move quickly and we'll be announcing what that uh, offer has dropped to at three o'clock, but 20% as it stands now, which makes those deals even better. Talking of amazing deals, some of them you're saving over 70%, which is absolutely incredible. Now, of course, we always bring you fabulous deals here at Crafters TV, but one of the best things, the very best things uh, about us here is that we provide you with so much inspiration. It's not just giving you the fabulous products, it's showing you exactly how to use them to get the best from what you've got in your crafty stash. And I know a lady who's going to be providing us with an awful lot of inspiration over these next two hours. It was an amazing wake-up call. Those demos were absolutely out of this world, and I know it's going to be exactly the same on this masterclass. I am joined by the one, the only, it's our Debbie Robinson. Yay. Good afternoon. I know I feel nice, fed and watered oh, now, all ready and raring to go with some brilliant, just, honestly, I still can't get over the drop. It took me about Ooh. halfway into the first show to just realise how fabulous that extra discount is today. And I think that's why, because we know, we know just how popular this morning show was. You really don't want to miss out on some of the most amazing deals that we've got, the amazing prices that we've got. And then you can discount extra by adding that code. And I think that's absolutely amazing. I'm going to take you through that inspiration. Absolutely. Because we've got so much to get through. I don't know how I'm going to get in through all what I need to get in. But we're going to do our very best uh, to get through some of my favourite dyes. So we've got um, the lovely, and I do love these decorative frames. So much you can do with it. I'm going to take you on a little bit of a journey, though, from a nice, simple card. Um, what about combining two together? There's nesting dyes and tis the season in this one um, that you can be do doing as well. And I just think they make the most amazing Christmas makes. You've got your creator cards. Now, I love a creator card absolutely adore creator cards um, and you can create a very different set of cards using our fabulous half creator card dies as well so there there's some of the plans that i've got in there and then our nesting dies god i love a nesting die lily i've told mm. you this before i love my nesting favorite dies. Yeah. yeah can never um, have enough can never have enough and, we're, and these are just gorgeous christmas designed uh, and lots of lovely ways that you can use them Ooh. as well so that could be like a little slip in feature um to an aperture card and they can go either way to be fair it mm. doesn't necessarily mean just because they're tall that they have to go in one direction you can absolutely by all means take them any which way you want and you can snip into them as well so we've got lots to cover in this two hours so again i don't know how we're gonna do it i don't know how we're gonna fit it in we've got so many deals um, and if there's anything you want to see with any of the others and in terms of how they work, again, we're interactive. Just let the girls know. I don't know who's on the social media. Susie? Sure, Lily. Is it Susie this afternoon? Susie T. Susie. Yeah. Woo, 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 Susie T. Yeah. If there's any questions, any comments, drop them by and then we can answer them directly in the studio. And it's, 
you're getting a bit of a two for one here because Lily is not only a presenter, but she's also a craft expert as well. Mm -hmm. So anything that I can't answer, Lily can definitely. Um, so yeah, I can't wait to get started. Shall we get cracking? Absolutely, yeah. Let's say a few hellos to start with. Like we say, we've got our fabulous Susie on the socials this afternoon. Same in the gallery, we've still got our Nicola producing. She's saying hello. Is she saying hello? No, she's not saying it. She's saying hello. There we go. That was her cue. There you go, Nicola. And we also have James Vision mixing as well. So, oh, he's saying how day. Blimey, mixing up a little bit on this Wednesday afternoon. So, who's <laughs> joining us on the socials? We have got Beth from upstate New York. Phil Watson is in, saying good afternoon. Carletta is saying hello from Arkansas. Lois is in from Ohio. And Kirsty D is saying good afternoon, everyone from a very wet Thornaby. Honestly, Kirsty, the rain is still bouncing it down. I thought after we came out, after wake up call, it might have stopped. No, I don't think it's stopping anytime soon. At this rate, we will be building an arc, quite frankly. Uh, Lynn Morton's in from uh, wet Newcastle. Yeah, I can imagine the weather's not great there uh, as well. Let us know if you're joining us. Let us know what the weather's doing. Let us know what you're crafting. Perhaps you're in your craft room today, sheltering from that rain. What are you working with? Perhaps it's going to be some of the amazing items that we're actually going to be sharing with you across today's show. But we are talking of incredible deals. We're talking of amazing inspiration. And this set is an absolute corker. Now, it's better than half price when it comes to this collection. And that's not even taking into account that drop code. So, better than half price plus 20% with the code drop. Wow, that is an amazing deal for these dies. I mean, Dave, you gave you a little sneak peek of one of those fabulous samples. But what we love about these is the fact that they create the most beautiful, exquisite detail cars, literally one pass through a die crew machine. All you need to do. Perhaps you're going to be layering it onto one of your pattern papers. Perhaps you're going to be cutting it in silhouette in black uh, and adding it onto an inky background. Just use the stamp that's also included and you've got a beautiful card done literally in minutes. And let's be honest, quite a lot of the time that is what we need in when it comes to our Christmas makes. If you're anything like me and a little bit last minute when it comes to Christmas, then these are going to be an absolute godsend for sure. So first up, we have got our home for Christmas. This is a beautiful traditional uh, die that we've got here and it's also a stamp set as well. So within each and every single one of these sets and you are getting five different sets across the collection which brings together 10 different dies and five stamps, you are getting that inner cut in detail that allows you to create lots of different sorts of concept cards, maybe cutting that into the box lid as well, maybe creating your shakers. That's your inner die, that cut in detail. But we also include, but separately, that outer outline die that allows you to do exactly what we've done here on our board and actually cut that out as a panel, which allows you then to layer that onto your projects uh, however you see fit. As if that wasn't enough to give you those two almost like creator card dies, we're also bringing to you the sentiment as well, which will nestle perfectly into that space in the centre. Use it completely independent if you so wish, or don't use it at all. It is completely up to you. Love the fact that you've got choices when it comes to these. Next up, we have our Christmas foliage. I love the snippability that we've got within this design. I'm thinking you could be snipping that foliage element out. It doesn't have to be part of a frame if you don't want it to be, but you could be multiple cutting and then layering these pieces together, doing a little bit of decoupage if you so choose, giving you lots more options. And again, beautiful sentiment which will nestle into the middle of that frame if you choose to use it in that way. Next up, we have got our Merrily on High. Lovely bell design that we've got in here. You've got those trailing uh, edges of the ribbon that we've got there. We've got the holly in the corner. And once again, we've got that lovely sentiment that works so perfectly with the imagery that we've got there. Then we have got our Dashing Through the Snow. Love this one added in uh, black car stock, perhaps again today, snowy scene. Maybe you got that acetate that Debbie showed us on this morning's wake up call. You're going to be popping acetate behind there. Perhaps it's going to be a shaker. Wouldn't that look absolutely incredible? And again, that sentiment is matching perfectly with the imagery that we've got within the die. And then finally, our last but by no means least within this collection is our Follow the Star. Beautiful traditional imagery with this one. Works a treat doing a little bit of paper piecing at the top. And then we do have our matching sentiment, which will work absolutely perfectly with that die. Absolutely incredible value on this one. Your Platinum Club price, before we even take off that 20% drop code, is £33.60 or $39.20. When you see the size of these dies and the fact that you're also getting stamps included, it is absolutely outstanding value for money. 
going to get a little bit of inspiration from Debbie in just a moment. But a few more hellos. We've got so many of you joining us uh, on this Wednesday. So we've got to say hello to you all. Uh, we have got Barbara's joining us from Kentucky. She's saying, hope everyone has a wonderful day. Oh, thank you, Barbara. I hope you do too. The weather might not be wonderful, but we are still having a wonderful day here at CTV as always. Michelle Harris is in. Oh, she'll be in the background using a foiling machine. Well, if you like your foil and if you like your foil press, make sure you join Craig Friday at 6 o'clock UK time. Might be a few foiling things on that show, but I didn't tell you that. But yes, lots of foil press action coming up on Friday. We've got Kathy joining us from New Jersey. We've got Ellen from Florida. Janet's in from Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. Mary Beth Doyle is back joining us from Minnesota. And finally, we've got Handcrafted by Gaz. Uh, lovely afternoon to Lily, Debbie, and all our lovely CTV team. Well, a lovely afternoon to you too, our Gaz. Now, I think it's time we get a little bit of inspiration with these fabulous Christmas decorative frame stamp and die selection i hope debbie can say that a little bit better than i can <laughs> it's, it's a right Not apple hard. i tell you what isn't though the price the mm -hmm. price is, is it's, it's eye popping it's so so good and especially if you're getting in before that drop before the discounting drop drops get it in and get that extra additional 20 percent off because it's just amazing for a set of dies that offers you so much creativity and i'm going to use um oh well I, I just think of this one as being a very typical Christmas scene um, and I absolutely love this with the star of wonder and I do genuinely mean it these dies are so versatile they're from the creator card range it means that you can actually create lots of multiples because we've split the frame that cuts directly into cardstock that together cuts out your frame or your mat and layer that you can then attach on as well so there's so much that you're going to be able to do with this and including quick easy Christmas makes which is what I'm going to start with this this is a piece of multi-purpose cardstock that measures 11 and a half inches mm -hmm. and scored at uh, sorry yeah 11 and a half scored at five and three quarters uh, just shy of six because these are a really nice size die as well now I am not going to use the frame at this point what mm -hmm. I am going to do is cut directly into the cardstock so I'm just going to open that up and then through the front panel of my card and I'm having a tent fold so a tent fold means from the top think of a tent mm -hmm. um, and then I'm just going to pop that on now and hold it down with some low tack tape and then we'll run that through our Gemini and then I'm going to show you what you can do with the frame part of it as well so let me bring in I've just got all my large plates just down here there we go and I'll put that onto the large platform mm -hmm. thin metal die so the normal combination for your thin metal die as I do, I cut down into my cutting plate, put the mm -hmm. plastic shim on the top, the magnetic as a shim, and then the other cutting plate on the top of that as well and run that through. And then let that do all the hard work for you. Then it's just down to you to decide what else are you going to add to this. Now, we're going to cut it out again in black and in gold, but we're going to use the framed element because we're going to create a lovely aperture, the front of your card, but then what we're going to do is... Um, add the extra pieces on to really bring it to life uh, and it really does absolutely mm. so if I just move those out of the way remove the tape and again I'm just going to lift that tape off that's why I've put it on the inside as well because I know that that piece in the middle is going to be cutting away rather than have it on the other side but if you just take that out now you're creating that lovely front base of your card. Talk about super quick and easy as well, Lily. I oh, mean, yeah. you couldn't get any easier. Yeah. And again, I'll just put that to one side and then we'll flick out all these extra little details. But honestly, it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous die. It really mm. is. I think they all are, though, to be fair. They are, yeah. Every I, one of the designs. I mean, I was looking through them trying to pick a favourite. I don't know why, actually, you get all of them. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, I was like, do you know what? I love them all. And I love them all for different reasons because they've all got a different style, all got a different look and feel to them. Uh, so it doesn't matter who you're sending these to. I think all recipients will be covered uh, across this collection, which I absolutely love. Whether yeah. you want to go more traditional, whether you want to go more modern, it's all covered within this collection. Don't forget, you get the five separate stamp and die sets. Don't forget, you are getting that stamp that can fit in the middle of these frames. If you want it to, it doesn't have to. Uh, you've got choices when it comes to these, uh, but just how fabulously they cut into your card base. And that's the beauty of them being creator card dies. You don't have to use that outer die if you don't want to. 
you can do what Debbie's done here and cut it into a card base. And doesn't that look fabulous? Yep, and when you poke all your little pieces, I'm just going to double check because I know what I'm like. Oh, there's you always, always see one a rogue in there. One. Oh. You always see a rogue one, it drives you mad. Oh, it does, yeah. <laughs> but that straight away in the front of a card, and all I'm going to do is just pop some cardstock behind it just for a second to elevate Ooh. it. And you can see straight away just that gorgeous detail. So let me just wow. pop that into the insert of the card. Mm. Oh, Debbie. What did oh, we say earlier, Lily? Done it again. You've done it again. It's because I seal it so that the glue doesn't dry. Because obviously it's a wet glue, and if yeah. you leave it, you get there's that danger that you might let that dry. Yeah, but you so, do need to take the lid off again afterwards. You know, it does <laughs> help. Speaking from experience, you know. Oh dear. <laughs> but instantly, that's created that lovely um, aperture feature. All the design on there um, and that lovely see that now this is when you could add some acetate around the back if you wanted to mm -hmm. or maybe some vellum um, because that's the aperture part there and just throw that in bin because I don't need it for anything else um, but then you what you'll do is you'll cut this out again but this time as a full solid so by putting them both down together mm -hmm. you're then going to cut out a frame and I've done it in black and gold oh Wait yeah, nice black and gold uh -huh. uh, because That's I'm going to have them over the top but I'm also going to add them over the top of my card base oh, so nice. it creates a real wow factor and a real drama and dimension so first things first I'm going to put these two together I'm going to do a little bit of a drop shadow again just again just that little fraction and this way again it doesn't matter if you come to the left to the right down you just want to create a little bit of drama behind there and that little hint of a shadow so i'm going to come in now i have got my dotted uh oh oh well, oh it's there oh. i thought for a minute i'd lost my dotted tape pen hiding away it is <gasps> no! uh -oh. Oh. it's gone Oh, dear, it's, it's not run good out. Time for a new one. Time for a new one. Oh, dear. I know. It's a good job we've got them here. Yes, <laughs> isn't it? Because I've heard they've gone again, haven't they? Uh-huh. They have gone oh, again. Dear. We cannot keep them in stock, can we? We cannot no, I know. keep them in. I know. If you haven't got dotty tape pen, though, you know what you can do? Mm -hmm. You could use your... Um, uh, Tacky glue. Yeah. And all you'll do, especially if you've got a bottle like this, mm -hmm. or if you've got it de decanted, I'll get our producer to check if these are in stock but just pop it mm -hmm. fine tip applicator you decanter your glue and then you can still get because because it's such a fine tip it means you can get into all those nook and crannies the same mm -hmm. place that your um dotty tape pen would get without too much mess oh you're kidding me oh. i'm not having much luck they're not We're in not, stock are they must be coming. They must be coming back. They must. I hope yeah. so, because I—that's what I use at home. I always use my tacky glue uh, yeah. in my fine tip glue applicator. I just find as well you've got that little bit of wiggle room. Uh, so if you don't position it perfectly, especially when you are uh, doing your drop shadowing, then you've got that moment, moments grace. I always call it just to uh, wiggle, wiggle it into position, so to speak. Absolutely. That's the difference between uh, that to a, a dry glue, which is mm. the tape pen. The tape pen's quite an instant one. Although, to be fair, with the dotty, you, you've got a bit of time to get that off. You do, yeah. Because you to, to, to make it really stick, you've got to really push down onto mm. it. And, and what we call that little rub that you do across the across it to adhere. It's the heat that um, mm. is on the back of that that will stick that down. Although... Um, same applies to your wet glues as well. Yes, now yeah. there's just a hint of a shadow, Love and then that. we're going to do exactly the same. So I'll come back in. I'll do it with me, me tacky again, mm -hmm. since we haven't got the dotty in. Let's come in, and again I'm just going to pop the glue, and you can go into all those little nooks and crannies because it is a lovely filigree dye. This mm. one, so detailed, it's isn't beautiful. it? Beautiful. But you can create quick easy instant cards especially your christmas makes oh yeah in an instant it's created a card almost instantly closing so, the name isn't it really Create well, a card. yeah there you go. <laughs> <laughs> so let me just pop that back into there and then come over and again i'm just going to have a slight let's let's do a little bit this way okay i like that it's almost like a double drop shadow yeah. i know yeah so i've got a bit of black i've got a bit of gold i've got a bit of white in there debbie's um, double drop shadow <laughs> Ooh, well, you get your teeth in for that one and then just attach that and just again it's just a little tiny tiny little bit a little fraction mm. but you've created a lovely uh, piece that goes over the top let that dry and then mm -hmm. lastly in there you've not only got dyes but you've got stamps yeah so you've got star of wonder star of night and again mm -hmm. all you need to do is stamp that out now with my gold piece i actually kept my star because the star waste let me just lift that off i'm actually going to place it underneath 
So okay. I'm going to have, again, you want a little bit of wiggle time, so because I want to get it into position. So if I just pop that underneath, I want to position it. So I'm going to get my poker tool, just position that into place so it's right underneath uh, where the, the, the card is. And then add a couple of foam pads just to the back. I'm going to lift that with it being in the centre. And mm -hmm. I've, I've just mounted it onto some um, gold cardstock. Yeah. And it's the matching gold stock card stock that come from there. That one is the sil silver, Debbie, that's not silver, it's gold yeah. um, one as well. Perfect. And again, it's all about colour matching. Mm. So that's from our... Oh, we had some amazing deals last week on that card stock. Oh, and oh, believe you me, Debbie, I know. Somebody honestly, I was blown away with some of the oh, prices that we had on. Just going to position it so I've got that in the centre. Let me just lift that up by eye. There we go, I'm happy with that. And apart from that... I mean, you could add more to it, but to be fair, when you're making your Christmas makes, especially when you want quick and easy cards, you've got a quick and easy card done in a jiffy, but the impact that it creates just by cutting out a couple of extra layers, like with the black and the gold, and no matter what cardstock you put at the background, it just gives it that pop, and it gives it that lovely, luxurious feel. And again, it creates that lovely dimension of that aperture running through there. Really, really lovely. Absolutely. And there you go. Beautiful, love that. What a fabulous demonstration. Just shows how quick and easy these can be if you want them to be, but it still looks absolutely amazing. That certainly doesn't look like a quick and easy card. So if you want to get your hands on this fabulous collection, don't forget you're getting five different stamp and die sets included within this range for a Platinum Club price today of £33.60 or $39.20. Now, if you want that price to be even better, if you want to take an extra 20% off your already discounted and platinum discount price. Make sure you pop in the code DROP into that promo code box over on the website. However, you can see that timer up on your screen. You've got less than 40 minutes to take advantage of that 20% off. Then that code's going to drop. You're still going to get a fabulous discount, but it's not quite going to be 20%. So if you know you're going to be getting these today, you may as well get them in the next 40 minutes to make sure you can get the best possible deal on these incredible stamps and dies. So in terms of the designs that you're getting as part of this incredible range, the one that Debbie's just shown how beautifully you can uh, create the most fabulous cards with this set. First up is our Follow the Star. How amazing was it to just die cut another of those stars and uh, inset that into there. Maybe it's gonna be paper piecing. Maybe you're gonna be using the sentiment like Debbie just has. Isn't that just absolutely beautiful? Next up, we have our Dashing Through the Snow. I think this one will work absolutely perfectly for all of your shaker cards. Maybe you're gonna be adding some of your acetate or vellums behind your die cuts with that one. Then we have our Merrily on High. This one works a treat for all of your paper piecing. Maybe you're going to be paper piecing all of that holly design onto there. Perhaps you're going to be cutting your uh, bells in your gorgeous uh, mirror card stock. That would look stunning. Then perhaps a little bit more modern in design when we come to our Christmas foliage. Be useful and lots and lots of snips of snippability even when it comes to this one. Look at those two borders that you've got on there. Uh, maybe even do a little bit of ribbon threading through those or thread some of your um, embroidery thread through. That would look absolutely fabulous. And then finally, as part of this collection, you have your home for Christmas, a really warm, traditional uh, sort of indoor Christmas scene that we've got with this one just beautiful think of cutting that in white and coloring it up maybe using any of your pens or your inks that would look absolutely beautiful but that's the final of your five different stamp and die sets that you're getting included as part of this wonderful collection for just 33 pounds 60 or 39 dollars 20. don't forget to take an extra 20 percent off that if you're using your code drop but only for the next ooh, 35 minutes or so which is not long at all to take advantage of that fabulous offer so many of you joining us this afternoon. So many of you are loving Debbie's demos already. They are absolutely fabulous, aren't they? We have got Eve B joining us from Kansas City in Missouri. Rhonda saying hello. Pauline's in. We've got Suzanne Dawn. Apparently, weather in Leicester is undecided. Rain or sunshine? Well, I'll be honest, in County Durham, it most certainly has decided it's going to throw it down all day. And I checked the forecast when we we're having our break. Yep, it's going to be raining literally morning, noon, and night here. So it definitely has to decide. It's what, not really what we want, but for crafting, perfect weather. We also have Alison Lee joining us saying good afternoon. Christine Mahoney is in. We've got Evelyn from Colorado. Suzanne Dorn saying she's loving this collection. Uh, Jeffrey Lang Langley is joining us. Um, Heather and Eve B is joining us as well. Oh, Cindy, this is a good question. Cindy is saying, where is the paper uh, that Debbie used as a background from? 
Debbie, do you know where the paper oh, was from? Oh, it's um, because there was the Bethlehem, um, not the Bethlehem. Oh, it's not Bethlehem, that's what I was thinking, it's like yeah, Bethlehem. Yeah, it was the, oh, that's do you know. one, isn't it? And I normally write it down, but I've completely forgot. It's one of the Christmas ones. It is. Oh, it's one of the last year ones as well. Is it, is it last year? I'm sure it's last year. So I'm thinking <sighs> the foiling. Give what me a minute have? and I'll have a little think, because I'll, I'll just check, because I have got, I write notes sometimes of the papers that I use. So just give me a second and I might be able to get back to you. No um, worries. Because I'm just trying to think. Do you know I'm what? trying to think what it is myself. I know. Because it's a foiled one. I'm trying to think what foiled 12 by 12 pads have we done? So there was the Bethlehem that had foiling in there. Yeah, but it's oh, the wrong colour. There was another one. I'll well, come back we'll to have a thing. It, come it, back to me. Debbie will just shout a name at, at some point and then we'll know that's the paper <laughs> pad. We will get back to you. Because uh, Lynn's asking the same. So many people are saying they love that demo. Um, oh, Jamie's saying, question time for Lily. Which one is your favourite colouring you've ever done? Is it Twas the Night Before Christmas or Reindeer Collection? Um, oh, they're asking about the paper. Is the paper Twas the Night Before Christmas? It could be. Nativity. No. Nativity. Nativity. That's the one. Yeah, <laughs> Nativity. We've got there. So, Jamie, what's my favourite colouring I've ever done? Blimey me. I'm not quite sure. So many choices, isn't there? So many choices. I love colouring with my illustrators at the moment, I have to say. So uh, anything oh, colouring. Yeah. See, yeah. Mm. I'll try blend brush. Yes, try yeah. blend brush, try blend, try mm. colour. Loving the do tri oh, tri yes. colours. Um, yeah. Pencils. Pencils, yeah. Yeah, I've gone, gone back into my pencils mm. again. And um, aqua. Aqua pencils, because yeah. I've used them for such a long time, and then I've had a few demonstrations with them. And so aqua pencils are a good one as well. Yeah. Good question. Uh, how about all of the above? Can we all go with that? Above. All of the above. <laughs> Literally any spectrum raw colouring medium is my favourite. Honestly, I always say whatever colouring medium I've last coloured with, that's my favourite because honestly, I can't choose. So sorry. That was an awful answer to your question, but I love them all. <laughs> anyway, next up, we're going to be having a look at our fabulous Tis the Season selection. Now, I'm going to be really naughty, okay? You'll see this collection, it's absolutely stunning. You're getting all the hardware, all the tools, all the things that'll be in your crafty stash for years and years to come. Because as we come to look at the designs in just a moment, you'll see that this is really traditional imagery. It's the sort of stuff that's not going to date. However, what you'll notice is we've not got the paper pad as part of this collection. All I'm going to say, guys, is make sure you tune in tomorrow at 2 o'clock because... Mm -hmm. You never know. There might be a guest appearance from a certain paper pad. All I'm going to say. There might be several of them as well. Anyway, before you think about that paper pad, you're going to need the hardware to go alongside this. And honestly, the deal on this is absolutely incredible. This was one of my, if not my favourite Christmas launch from last year. I love traditional Christmas. I love those reds, those greens, those gold. And the imagery within this range is honestly, it's timeless. It's one of those that will work for so many different recipients because it's just that, it's that sort of hallmark of Christmas. You've got your holly, you've got your berries, you've got all of those uh, traditional Christmas images. This is our Tis the Season selection. It's a six piece selection. You're getting seven dies, 12 stamps, and one cut and embossed folder. Wowzer, for a platinum price today of £24 or $32. And don't forget, use that 20% off code and it's going to get that, um, that price even lower, which we are loving. So don't forget that code is DROP. Pop that into the promo code box. For the next half an hour or so, you'll get 20% off this. But what are you getting included? Well, first up, you're getting your cut and emboss folder. This is called our Yuletide frame. I love a cut and emboss folder because you get so, so many options when it comes to these. You don't need to worry about having to fussy cut or use a craft knife into the center. You already have that die built into that embossing folder. So one pass through the machine will not only give you that embossed frame, but it gives you that center cut out. Completely up to you what you're going to be adding into the center of there. Maybe it's going to be other elements from this collection, or maybe it's going to be something completely different. Perhaps that's going to be on a scrapbook page with a photo behind. Maybe it's going to be a shaker. Maybe you're going to be adding some of your quote stamps. Perhaps you're loving your hand journaling on your lettering at the moment. Get uh, adding some of your calligraphy behind there. So, so many options, but great as almost like a scene setter when it comes to your Christmas makes. Next up, wow, talk about quick makes with a real impact. Well, this is going to be absolutely ideal for that. These are gorgeous little robin red, red breast even. 
absolute dream for paper piecing. Cut it maybe in your black cardstock, pop it onto your acetate, do your stained glass window techniques. Uh, I know Craig did an amazing demo a few weeks ago where he cut it in black, laid it onto some of the Nina cardstock and coloured in the gaps using some of his uh, colour blend pencils. That worked to treat, but that for a striking quick and easy card, you cannot beat it, that is for sure. Next up we come to our stamp and die sets. Four of these stamp and die sets in total in this fabulous collection and these are brilliant if you're not into your fussy cutting because what that enables you to do is stamp the design out and then cut it with the help of a die so if you are batch making and you need those quick makes then that's going to be absolutely ideal sentiments included as well just to finish off your makes and give it that really special finishing touch that one is wonderful time of the year Next up, I absolutely love this one. I think there's something so symbolic about candles uh, at Christmas. I think it's such beautiful imagery. This one is our Christmas blessings. You got your sentiments once again, but change up that color in medium. However you're choosing to color these, you're gonna get different looks and feels every single time. Next up, beautiful wreath design when it comes to our heaven and nature sing. We've got that lovely wreath around the outside. We've got our little Robin Redbreast in there with all of the foliage, the bells, so much detail in there. It's one of those, the more you look into it, the more you start to see. And then finally, another real classic uh, image when it comes to your Christmas makes is that lantern. Here we've got our holiday wishes. We've got a beautiful cardinal on there. You've got even got uh, your orange, your candied orange on there, your berries, and again, sentiments included too. So lots and lots to get crafting with as part of this collection. It's a six piece collection for £24 or just $32. Even better with 20% off if you're using that code DROP. And don't forget, if you're liking those and you're thinking, do you know what? Love that artwork, love that imagery, but I might need some pattern papers to go alongside that. Tune in tomorrow at two o'clock is all I'm gonna say. I've said far too much about that already. So I think it's time to throw over to Debbie before I get myself into even more trouble. And it's easy to get yourself into trouble, believe you me, because um, ooh, we, we just get led down garden paths and mm. we come out with far too much than we should do. Um, actually, I've seen Craig, the naughty boy. Have you seen what he's been posting today? All the Halloween stuff. He's... I didn't think we're allowed to. to smack, smack them I know. Dannies. I know, and he's been, he's been posting stuff what I've got a first look of on <laughs> Sunday. And I thought, excuse me, that's my first look. Hey guys, was... you know, he's been so excited. He we has. all know Craig loves Halloween. He does. It is, it is, yep, yep. Absolutely, but yes, we, we, we'll not say no more. No more. We'll not say no, no more. more. Let's stop right there before we get into trouble. Let's show you, though, some of these gorgeous samples that some of our design team members have made, and some of the experts as well, because there's a bit of mixture in, in there. Um, oh, aren't they? Honestly, oh, isn't wow. he the cutest little thing? It's gorgeous Look at the work as well, the detailed work around it. You know, mm. I just think this is per perfect for like, you could do some decoupage layers with this oh, by yeah. snipping out extra bits of cardstock um, yeah. and then paint piecing as well. This is just a simple, beautiful one though with a little tiny hint of colour behind it. I think that's absolutely superb. Um, oh my God, I absolutely love them dies. Oh wow. I, I do, I can't tell you how much I love them. I think they're mm. absolutely fabulous. But all of these features create some really lovely, I'll I, I tell you what I can't get over, mm. the price. Uh, me neither. £24 or $32 in the Club Platinum and then you've got the additional... Wait a minute, is it still on? It's still on. Is it still 26 on? 26 minutes to go. Honest to God, you're going to get another 20% off your... Off, off, oh, yeah. oh, you need to get... Oh, you mm -hmm. need to get across there now and get these in your basket, let me tell you. Because these are going to cover so much. I mean, look at the various different cards you've just seen there. Oh, wow, look Absolutely at that. beautiful. I love that one because that can be both ways. Yeah. It can be upside... You know, that way. That's the way it's intended. But to be fair, what Sandy's done... She's yeah. created a lovely decorative feature at the bottom. I think that's absolutely fab. Yeah, I love that. Honestly, it's so lovely, these. Now, I am going to use one element from the Tis the Season, but I'm being yeah. a bit cheeky because it's Ooh. a Christmas masterclass and we've got some more dyes. I'm actually going to put some nesting dyes in there as well. Oh, yeah, let's uh, do it. First things first, I'm going to use the Christmas blessings. There's just something about this stamp and die set that I think is absolutely exquisite. So again, that's the full stamp set and you've got a couple of um, messages on there. May the magic of Christmas season fill your heart with joy. That's Aww, a beautiful that's one. Nice. And then Christmas blessings to you and yours. So if you're sending these out to, you know, relatives or family members or friends across the pond wherever it is you've got something that covers that as well mm. um so let's let's bring this in because this is a stamp and die set i've got some nina cardstock here as well so i've just cut literally chopped a little bit of nina cardstock down and in fact let me make sure that i've got that the right way yeah you'll be fine with that debbie although yeah. 
Let's be kind to yourself. Let's turn it that way. <laughs> Let's turn it that way. Just in case. You never know. Uh, and then I'm just going to position it onto my stamping platform. Perfect. Okay. And then I'm going to... I mean, I don't know if these are still in stock. Stamping platforms? Probably oh not. my goodness, I know, probably I not now I've said it. One thing I can say is in stock, is Nina Car stock, so I ordered some this morning. <laughs> well, it was of, as of this morning, who knows now? It's a staple oh, to yeah. have in your uh, card and paper stash. It certainly is. It's, a, it's essential. <gasps> oh, it is in stock. Wow! Gosh, Yay. grab it while you can. Good grief. You'll hear all of us talk about it being a hero tool. Yeah. Because, and, and I will just say, if you miss areas, like I, I knew I was purposely going to miss that, mm. uh, but if you've missed any areas, like at the top and the bottom, you can just go back in. Mm. So I know the ink is still there. I can see it on the stamp. You push down over the top of where your stamp is. Mm -hmm. And the same, it's, it's, as long as you're not getting any wiggle to it, you're absolutely fine. You get no ghost in as well. So it mm. gives you that lovely, crisp, clean stamped image. Now, my top tip right now would mm -hmm. be to take that off your platform. Yeah. And then I wouldn't personally colour it in at this stage. I would get your dye. Snap. Absolutely agree. Could not <laughs> agree more. Because Debbie, the, uh, too many times I've gone and coloured it in and got all carried away and desperate to get colour and you know what I'm like. Exactly. And then um, you go to dye cut it and it moves. Honestly, it is honestly, the worst I, thing it's, ever. It's quite upsetting when that happens. Yes. Yeah. There's um, things thrown across the room, <laughs> shall we say. <laughs> so the top tip we're going to give you, um, and it's only because it happened to me and Craig were like, Debbie, you just coloured that in and now it's... And I were like, yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. I know. It were absolutely right oh. now it is a straightforward dye that as well so in terms of your pressure of your machine try it without the magnetic shim first okay anything that's a straight straight what i call a straight edge mm -hmm. something like that is intricate and you would need to have your magnetic shim in there mm -hmm. anything that's a straight like what, what i call a one shape or yeah. like circles and squares yeah. they don't necessarily need the same amount of pressure that you would what you would need mm -hmm. uh, with your um with your like intricate dies. So, yeah. yeah, so with your straightforward dies, nice and easy, and it shows you as well the power of the Gemini and the reason why we talk about the shims and why you have those different shims to be able to do things like this. Mm. And that's that straightforward die. So, I didn't need to use the um, magnetic shim at that no. point. And there you go, cut out when it's ready to colour in. So I'm going to grab a piece of black cardstock. I'm going to put that underneath to make it a bit easier to show you because we're not going to spend all the time colouring it in because mm -hmm. we've got so much we want to cram into this show. So many deals as well. And we want you to take advantage of these fabulous deals. I love the poinsettia, I'm not going to lie, and the little berries. So we're going to start... Oh, Lily, I picked your favourites up. Oh! Your tri-blend brush. Brush, yeah. Brush, brush, brush. So you're going to, and that's the thing. You can cover quite a lot of the mm. um, stamped imaging instantly. I think these are new pens, Lily. Oh my goodness! Your Honour, what have you Liam done to deserve this? I think new pens in the studio <gasps> because these are fabulous. I can feel. I can feel. Do you know? You know that there's a. Oh yeah. It's a juicy new oh, ink. Nothing in there. better, is there? Oh. So satisfying. So satisfying. Oh, so again, it. I'm just going to come in and add a little bit of the dark, and then back to some medium. Mm-hmm. Now, I've got a very exciting comment. It's coming from Despina. She's saying, hello, hello. This is her first time watching live. Oh. How exciting. And thank you so much for commenting. Honestly, I love it when we get new viewers. It is so, so exciting. Have you been crafting for many years? Are you just new to the channel? Or are you new to crafting in general? Let us know. But how fabulous to have you joining us on this Wednesday afternoon. Super, super exciting. It is. And this is what I was saying to you earlier, Lily. It's lovely to have new people. Maybe she has been watching for a while or maybe it's her first time ever mm. tuning in. We're always conscious that we have new people tuning in all the time. I mean, obviously our Debs has been on um, QVC she here has, in England yeah. this morning on the QVC Extra with our Ben. Um, and we know that new people join us from various different ways. Sometimes word of mouth. Yeah, definitely. People talk about us and... and in a good way. <laughs> well, we hope so anyway. We hope so, yes. That and Debbie <laughs> blind. <laughs> but honestly, it's lovely to have new people joining mm. and commenting. And feel free to comment away. Yes, um, please do. Whichever way you look, cut us on Facebook, on the big telly, on your YouTube, whatever, which, whichever way, it's always fabulous to have um, our new new people joining us all the time. I it love it. Is. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I, it always fascinates me. I always find it incredible how we've got people from literally all over oh, the world. Yeah. Amazing, isn't it? When I did my Facebook Live uh, at home, mm. um, literally, 
all over the world. Like, yeah. And I'm like, oh my God, why? And yeah. I just you forget modern technology, isn't it? Yeah. We we have these days that enables us to connect to people absolutely all over. Um, so it's lovely. It is, it's lovely. So I'm just calling a few of those berries in. Um, I'm not going to put the dark one in. I'm just going to keep it at the light there mm -hmm. and preserve a little bit of that highlight as well. You can add your highlight as well. You can take one of your white gel pens or maybe you've got your white pen from your Colour of Academy mm -hmm. um, and just have a little play. And again, it's just, it literally is so easy with tricolours mm. because you don't have to work out where anything is. It's all in that one pen for you, which again, another reason why I absolutely love them and why I love the brush as well because you can lay down quite a lot of colour mm. quite quickly you and can. I love that for that reason I'm going to try to remember to talk Lily I know oh. I've not been too bad a job no you know you're doing a good job <laughs> so yeah we've got a lovely comment coming actually from Jane she's saying Debbie she bought all the nesting dies last year when she came to see you in Evesham can you believe it was almost a year ago do you know we were just talking, we were talking about, about that before, before the yeah. show I can't believe that, that is funny that's that. so uncanny yeah we were just saying that that we um I was down at Evesham this time last year um and yeah that's very very true so it's lovely that you remember that Jane and I hope you've been making lots mm, as well with your so. uh, with your makes with your with your dyes um but yeah it's a fabulous opportunity to get hold of them today at this amazing I amazing know. price it really is incredible isn't it yeah I, 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 absolutely so again i mean you could spend as much time or as little time as you want i'm going to let that dry just off because i have finished the, the full piece there oh, and i've gorgeous. just added in the green round here and then a little bit of the brown tones and i've gone with a, a got well actually it's a gold yellow blend as well mm -hmm. um so lots to color in with you've got lots of different mediums it's just a choice but again just shows you what you can be doing with that now that's that piece done i've got my little christmas blessings to you and yours from that same die set and stamp set oh, and i've mounted that. it onto some red uh, linen cardstock but i did say we've got some more things on the show oh, and we yeah, have got we these do. fabulous and i think i might have been in fact if i remember rightly i had these at evesham last year as well you if had I all the goodies rightly, didn't you blimey me i know I'm, honestly i'm trying, trying, trying to remember but i'm pretty sure i did uh, but this is the yuletide loom now i love these dyes we are going to be doing a, a more focused demo later on but i do love nesting dyes and mm. i love the fact that you've got this nesting die that cuts out and then this middle bit hasn't got an outside cutting edge so it creates a nice solid piece mm -hmm. however you can create that middle section by adding the two together so the next die that's in there is the other nesting die now if you put those two together you create an aperture which is what i'm going to do in a second but then you've got your third one because again the inside doesn't have an outside cutting edge but you can of course create it by adding that one into the center and then you've got a little decorative piece as well so the only one that i want to use are these two and I'm going to bring in my large plates again. I've got some white cardstock. Yeah. And I'm going to attach both of those together. Might just be a bit, oh, yes, yeah, just, whoa. Oh. Being a bit tight there, I am. Gosh, you've been like me with that. You've got, you've got to be, haven't you? You've got to be. You've well, got to make the most of your cardstock We are both Yorkshire paper. lasses, aren't we? Exactly. All? Yes, I do apologise. <gasps> oh, my God. I know, I couldn't believe I'm that. I'm so sorry, Lily. <laughs> honestly, I completely forgot. No, it's all right. It's funny. Because <laughs> it was Yorkshire, <laughs> Yorkshire Day yesterday. It was, yeah. So I did a little social post while I were at home <laughs> about the other two on the team, like Michelle and Jan, and then I completely forgot Lily. <laughs> yeah, and it's funny because it's not just Yorkshire we're both from. We're both from Sheffield. So it's like. <laughs> yeah just down the road i just keep telling you it's because your accent it throws me a little yeah. bit because you've got you sound like well there's different different regions of sheffield yeah, and, yeah. and yorkshire yeah. and barnsley and all yeah. sorts of places leeds and oh Oldsfield they're all so, totally different and all aren't they? places so but i completely forgot she was <laughs> It's like she went, and me too. So me I too. Thought, I need to rectify that very quickly. Uh, yeah. uh, because, yes, I did forget. So apologies there, Lily. No worries at all. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, we are. And I don't mean it in a horrible way. When I say, um, what's the word I'm looking for? See, we say tight. Frugal. Yeah, we say tight and we don't think anything of it. We don't think it's a bad thing. But then some <laughs> people think it's a bad thing. But So we, we go with frugal. We're frugal. very frugal in Yorkshire. There Absolutely we go. Frugal. We're very, very resourceful, shall we say. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
absolutely. But that's exactly it. And so that's why I've put it down to size. Now, again, when you take that off, you've got this lovely die cut piece. Now, you will need to um, use your die cleaning brush to get the oh, yeah. remainder out there, uh, which I will do in a second. But let me just release the die. Always remember when you're releasing die that's got so much filigree to it, and it has got a lot of filigree design, be very careful when you're taking it out and don't mm -hmm. pull it out like a Band-Aid. And then you're going to poke out all your pieces. I've actually inked mine up, so I've inked it with a little Ooh, bit of sandstorm. Nice. Um, and then, again, the second piece that we've got here, even though I'm not using it in this demo, mm -hmm. you've got another one. And just poke all your pieces out again. You've got mm -hmm. another little lovely nesting die there as well. Well, we don't and throw it. We certainly don't throw it. That is no, for sure. No, oh, no, not at all. Not at all. But I just wanted that because I thought that would look like a nice little frame to pop Ooh. my um, my candle in there. Yeah. And it doesn't necessarily have to be the centre. Just by popping it to the off centre mm. uh, creates a nice little effect as well. Like so that. let's bring in the card base. It's nice to show how the different collections work together, actually, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, yeah. Now, I'm going to try and remember this, Lily. Yeah, go on. Where I got this one is Tis, tis, the, se tis, tis the Season. The season. Yeah. yeah, it certainly is. <laughs> Easy as that. <laughs> Oh, that car stock pack, I absolutely love. I'm getting to the end of it now. I'm, I'm quite sad, but the red and the green on, in there is absolutely beautiful. Is the... Um... No. I tell you, though, if you might be getting a paper pad tomorrow and you're wanting car stock to go alongside it, I tell you what works a treat. That new 12 Days of Christmas collection, the, car, the red in there works a treat with ah. the paper pad that Debbie's now using. That might be making a guest appearance at 2 o'clock tomorrow. I don't know. It might be. I don't know. <laughs> be careful, Lily. Be careful. <gasps> Especially if the boss is watching. I don't hope not. Don't too much away. Hopefully she's having too much fun on her holiday. We well, can hope. Yeah. We can hope. Who knows? Ooh, let's Who hope knows? so. For my sake, blimey. <laughs> <laughs> now, popping that on there, you can actually do a little bit of paper piecing as well. So you could run Ooh, the die yeah. through again and you could paper piece because you've got some lovely little features there with your uh, poinsettias. Mm -hmm. I'm going to leave this blank though for now because um, I just I want to try and cram as much as, I, as much as I possibly can in this. Again, you could lift this as well. So by using your foam on a roll, mm -hmm. you could pop some foam around that central part. But look at the difference it makes from going from a solid to by popping that scent, that middle um, die in there, creating that lovely little framed aperture. Mm. And I do love, I love that. I love I the do, design yeah. from that second die that's created, yeah. and you'll see that in a second when I pop that onto there. Yeah. I just think that's absolutely fabulous. Having that look, I mean, that to me is genius. Yeah. It creates yeah. a lovely aperture. Um, as well as obviously the intention that it's meant for, which is a nesting die. Yeah. So let's come in now and just add the, and I've popped some foam pads onto the back of this one, Love just that. to elevate it and lift it. And I am going to just bring it down a little fraction. Shall I tell you what that edge reminds me of, that inner edge? What's don't that? know if you used to have a load of them. Back in the day, we used to have them decorative scissors. Before we had our dies and our punches oh, or anything like that, yes. I used to have this massive, great big caddy of all these decorative scissors. Some did a scallop, some did a pretend tone. Oh, I remember And that. I used to have one that looked just like that. I, I completely would, forgot yeah. about those. It's just reminded me. I'm sure I must have it somewhere. But yeah, I used to have this great big, it was like a rotating caddy, it was brilliant. And you could turn it around, there was dozens of different decorative scissors in, but blimey, yeah. How crafters come along, eh? Yeah, I don't see them anymore, <laughs> that's for sure. Right, I'm just trying to find some gems because um, oh. I do like a, I do like a gem or two, and I think I've got some. I'm sure, I've got some red in this bag. Oh, I wouldn't be surprised. Well, you'd be. <laughs> I say surprised or not? I've got quite a few different colours in there. Have I got red though, Lily? Oh my have god! Have you got have any I... clear? Oh, I've got a nice bit of red. Oh no, I'll colour it in. I think this will look quite nice. Oh, These yeah. darker ones, I thought that might look quite nice. Hey, I think I know exactly what gems they are, Debbie, because I believe I've got <laughs> them myself. I'm obsessed. I I'm think obsessed. they do the best gems. The best oh, gems in I the business. I absolutely love them. I'm just debating where to put my gems, so I think I might just come just down oh, yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, like Actually, that. Actually, let me come with smaller ones, just to give it a little bit of a... I don't know about yourself, but I sometimes like to add a little bit of bling. Oh, gosh, yeah. It's got to be done, don't it? Yeah, be there done. Especially go. for Christmas. And I'm going to leave it there, Lily, because I think that doesn't need any more than that and again that's just using tis the season mm -hmm. along with those gorgeous nesting dies as well and that one's the yuletide bloom beautiful absolutely beautiful gorgeous demo and i love to see how we can mix and match the different collections together it just shows how everything works together absolutely perfectly that was your tis the season selection debbie just use one of the items from that from that selection you're getting a six piece
piece collection when it comes to that incredible collection. So for a Platinum Club price of just £24 or $32, you could be treating yourself to 12 stamps, one cut emboss folder and seven dies. But, oh my goodness, I've just looked at the clock. We're looking at 10 to 3. What does that mean? Why is that significant? Look at that countdown timer. We have got the most incredible deal happening today. It's our declining discount offer. What that means is from this morning until 3 o'clock this afternoon, you can get 20% off any purchase with the code DROP. However, at 3 o'clock, we're going to drop that discount. So it's not going to be quite as good as that 20%. So if you want to get the best deal possible today on that season collection, make sure you snap that up in the next 10 minutes. And to give you an opportunity to get that added to your baskets and get it checked out, we're going to go for a quick break and we'll be back for even more deals and lots more inspiration in a couple of minutes. I'll see you in a minute. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafter's companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Here at Crafters TV, it couldn't be easier to get your hands on the latest crafty must-haves. Leave the hard work to us while you shop in the comfort of your own living room. Head to the Crafters Companion website to see our full crafty range, or hit the Shop the Day button to see all the new and exciting products featuring on Crafters TV. Once you've filled your cart, leave it to us to get your crafty goodies to you in super quick time so you can get on with being creative. Crafter's Companion, making crafty shopping a breeze. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations. Join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day. Are we in trouble or are we all right? <laughs> yeah. Should be, should be should coming be in. in. Should be coming <laughs> What does she do? Exactly what she do? <laughs> this is awesome. This is awesome. Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook, or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. And I want you every day and it's just what really gets you through when you're really at rock bottom there's a show for every type of crafter from first-time dabblers to full-time makers crafters tv create every day if you love crafters tv we've made it easy for you to watch us wherever you are whether you catch us on your tablet or take us with you on your mobile phone, it's easy to watch us anywhere. From here to here. Maybe don't watch us here. It would be easy to watch us here. Probably the easiest place to watch us is here. Crafters TV, with you wherever you are. Wow, jobs. 
Hello and welcome back to Crafters TV. Have you grabbed yourself a bargain? Maybe you've taken advantage of that drop 20% off, but I'm looking at the clock. You have got six minutes left. So in six minutes, I'm going to announce what that uh, discount has dropped to. So if you want the best deal, you've got six minutes to take advantage of that 20% off using the code drop. Definitely worth a go when it comes to that one. Now, talking of amazing offers, we have got an incredible deal on some of our triptych dies. My goodness me, this is literally a steal of a deal. You're getting 10 dies for £10.40 or $12, just over a pound a die. When we say a pound a die, you might be thinking, okay, they're tiny little diddy dies. Absolutely not when it comes to these. These are large scale dies. Incredible what you're getting for your money with this deal. Now, these are all about creating that triptych sort of card uh, card concept with these. They are absolutely beautiful. The detail that you're getting within these dies is just absolutely exquisite. But of course, we're talking about triptych, but it doesn't just have to be that triptych concept. You can use them in lots of different other concepts. When we say triptych, what we mean is we mean the three cut in a row like we can see here. So you've got that design that flows between the three different imagery there. So you sort of follow that story from left to right. Of course, you could be using them separately, all as individuals, or maybe just a couple next to each other. However you choose to use them, it's completely up to you. But use them in that fabulous triptych concept and look at the amazing effects you can get with these. Cut them into your card as they are cut in dies. Maybe you're going to just snip around the edge and cut them into a panel. Absolutely. Absolutely, you can be doing that, but cut them into your card base and you can get the most gorgeous effects with these. That being your um, Oh Holy Night, gorgeous traditional imagery that we've got with that one. Then next up, we're actually getting four dies included in this collection because we actually have our gorgeous Santa and his sleigh as a separate die. Of course, you can be using that to further embellish your triptych. Use it separately on other projects. It will be super useful when it comes to that design, but use it uh, Without that, if you want to, completely up to you. It doesn't just have to be three in a row. It could just be a slimline card with one of the houses. That looks incredible. Or maybe it's going to be a big lantern style box where you're cutting a different one onto every single panel of that box. That would look absolutely stunning too. That one is our Santa over the rooftops. I'm just thinking now actually shakers with that. Maybe using some of that foiled acetate that we showed you on this morning's wake up call. That would work an absolute treat. Love that one. And then finally, the last of your designs within this collection honestly I would quite happily be paying £10.40 for one of these we're giving you three this is outstanding value for money you've got just over three minutes so if you want an extra 20% off pop that code drop in literally three minutes to get that extra 20% off so you're going to be looking at another uh, two or three quid off this and when it, the price is that low that is absolutely amazing value Finally, our quaint village. This one is so lovely. It's so sort of a picturesque country village that we've got with this one. Uh, we've got that beautiful design in here. You've got the traditional letterbox. You've got the fence, you've got the gate on there, you've got all the decorations. Looks amazing, cuts a triptych into your car base, but again, you can use them separately if you so see fit. Completely up to you how you choose to use these, but in that triptych concept, they look absolutely beautiful. And I know Debbie's got some amazing inspiration with these. Debbie, what do they I'm look like? I'm just going to tell you, do not wrap <laughs> this repeat. You need to run, not walk, to the yep. website right now. No Stop walking. the press. Look at the price. This is nuts. We are literally giving these away to you today. Is that for all of them? Yep. And that's, the, and that, have we still got the countdown on? Yep. We've got two minutes, Debbie, two minutes. I am genuinely shocked. My, my flabber is gassed. I am shooketh to the core Ooh. and everything else because honest to God. Two minutes, come on guys. plus less, if you're in the Platinum yep. Club, plus less, 20% off top. Mm -hmm. Two minutes left. Run, don't walk. Yep. I'll show you a few quick samples because I'm telling quick. you now, quick, these guys. are a no-brainer. Get these in your basket right now while you can get that fabulous price. I cannot, I cannot believe that price that we have got these fabulous dies on. This is insane. And I mean insane that you could get hold of these fantastic triptych dies and really have a lot of fun with them um, for that mega, mega price. It's insanely wow. good.
Minute and a half. Do not walk because you haven't got much time to get them checked out for that 20%. Remember that early bird catches the worm. Mm -hmm. You have caught it and some and made yourself an absolute belter of a purchase today to get all of your Christmas makes made with these fabulous dyes. It's crazy, amazing. Lily. Crazy. A minute, a minute, guys. You can still get that amazing offer after three o'clock. Yes, we're still going to give you a discount on top of that discount. But if you want the best deal on these today, if you want that extra 20%, on top of an over 70% saving, you have got literally less than a minute. Get this added to your baskets, get it checked out because that discount is going to drop in literally less than a minute's time. Absolutely incredible value for money. £10.40 or $12. That's before you take off your 20% for those three die sets. Not three dies, three die sets, giving you 10 dies in total as part of your triptych dies. Wow, literally 30 seconds, guys. Not long at all. Get those baskets checked out. Get drop entered into that promo code box, and you're going to get, honestly, an absolute steal of a deal. It's a steal of a deal without that code, but with that code, oh my goodness me, talk about a no brainer. Now, whew. Calm. We've got another amazing deal. Honestly, this is incredible. This is our fabulous Christmas gift card holder die collection and template collection as well. But before we go to this, you've got five seconds left and then we're going to drop that discount. So it was 20% up to three o'clock. Now we're going to have a different percentage that I'm going to be told in just a second. This one is running to 8 p.m. tonight. Okay, it's still a great discount but it's running until eight o'clock tonight it's 17 percent one seven amazing offer of course we did say the early bird catches the worms to get that 20 percent off but 17 percent saving is still absolutely cracking i mean when you see the saving that we've got even without that code it is amazing so to get an extra 17 percent off of course is amazing make sure you're adding that code drop to that promo code box when you're checking it out and that will give you your 17 percent off on top of your already discounted bundles. So what have we got to take advantage of that extra 17% off with? Well, it's our Christmas gift card holder die collection. We say it's a die collection, you also get templates included as part of this range as well. You're getting, oh my goodness, you're getting 59 dies in total. Oh my life, four, 12 pound or $15.20. Take off an extra 17% and it gets even better different designs included as part of this amazing range. First up, we have our beautiful festive gift. And what these allow you to do is actually create holders where you can add your little gift cards onto. Let's be honest, gift cards don't look like the most presentable of gifts, but they are so popular. So many people ask for them at Christmas time. Why not present them in a much more beautiful manner using these die sets? Bring out all your different colors of cardstock, embellish these up however you see fit, but you've got all the hardware that allows you to create that actual uh, concept, that actual gift card holder, that one being in that beautiful present design. But of course, not just for Christmas when it comes to that design, you can be using that sort of design all year round. Definitely a lot more Christmassy in theme when it comes to our beautiful Christmas stocking. Again, the same sort of idea where you have the template that will create that holder. Then you've got your dies where you can actually pop your card uh, onto that one. You've got little like um, little notches in there where you can slip the gift card inside. And then we're giving you all the embellishments as well in die form to really be able to elevate those makes and embellish them an absolute treat. Then we have our festive snowman. Same sort of idea once again, just a different design when it comes to that gorgeous gift card holder. And then finally, this one is so much fun. Absolutely love this design. It's our Jolly Santa. And Jolly definitely is the perfect word when it comes to this little guy. Isn't he just adorable? I mean, that's just gonna make you smile, isn't it? Regardless of the fact that you've got a gift card or maybe a few pennies inside there, the fact that you've got that gorgeous little Santa is just absolutely fabulous. So as part of the Platinum Club, you're gonna be paying just 12 pounds or $15.20. I kind of want you to ignore those prices on your screen because make sure you're adding that code DROP to your basket and you'll be getting an extra 17% off but only till 8 o'clock tonight when we'll be dropping that discount a little bit more. So do get in as quickly as you can with these fabulous dies. But what can, can we create with them? Oh my god, I love these. Absolutely love them. I've, I've often said it, my kids now they're all grown up and they're, they're so difficult to buy from. They always say, mum, we'll just have some money. 
oh, we'll just have a gift card. And I'm like, I don't want to give them a gift card. I want to give them something. Mm. So I feel like I'm gifting them something. Mm. I know it sounds bizarre, but when it's something more physical like this, I feel like I'm gifting them something. Because mm. you go into those pound shops and things like that, and you can buy your envelopes and your wallets, but they're just so impersonal. Whereas these little bad boys are absolutely super cute, and I know you love them because well, we've sold thousands and thousands of these across the world. We've not sold them at that price. No. Oh, my God. No way, Jose, have we sold them at that price. Even at that £15.19 without your club membership off um, I think is a fantastic mm -hmm. deal for all of these so that's your cute little snowman uh, sorry Father Christmas that's your little snowman you can see where Aww. you've got your areas there already cut in so you can pop your gift cards and then it goes inside but you can take it into like your Christmas making as well so that's a lovely one that is incorporated to be not just a gift card holder but also a card at Christmas too. So it can, it can double up as both, which I think is lovely. Me personally, for the box, this mm. I don't see Christmas. No, I don't, I don't see Christmas. All. I see, if you use your party colours, I mm. see that you could be taking this in into like a birthday gift. Oh, yeah. Uh, a wedding gift, because if you use like your Centura pearls, Ooh, like your, your into ivory. gold or into mm. silver or ivory, you could be making that into a um, wedding gift card holder as well oh, yeah. so for me they're absolutely fabulous and then of course the little cute super stock in there as Aww. well i just love them i absolutely love them um and i just think at that price why wouldn't you no <laughs> well, why wouldn't you go and grab them 12 pounds and then what's the latest discount now 17. So even an additional 17 mm. percent off that is still quite good yeah again it's another one of those run don't walk mm -hmm. to that website and go and have a little look and see what you can get hold of today at these fabulous fabulous utter fabulous bargains real real deals to be had today absolutely i mean if you're thinking of stocking up when it comes to your christmas crafting then this certainly is the show for you you can get an awful lot for not a lot of money uh, when it comes to the items on this show. That being your Christmas gift card holder, die and template collection, you're getting 59 elements in total for a Platinum Club price of just £12 or $15.20. But of course, add your discount code DROP, you'll get an extra 17% off right all the way up until 8 o'clock UK time tonight. Now, if you're thinking about quick makes, then we have a fabulous collection for you. Only launched just a few weeks ago and absolutely incredible range of your concertina car kits and what i love about this is it's not just about christmas it's actually both christmas and every day so we're actually bringing to you both of the collections as part of this fabulous bundle wow you're getting 996 pieces yeah nearly a thousand pieces for a platinum club price today of £38.40 or $46.40. Don't forget as well, this is not an August launch, so you can use that extra 17% off when it comes to this one. Outstanding value for money. But what are you getting as part of this range? Well, don't worry, Debbie's going to give us a little bit of inspiration and show how easy it is to pop these cards together in just a moment. What, what they allow you to do is create your concept cards, your concertina cards. You know those cards we have to score, you have to measure, you have to fold and do, do um, little bits in with your craft knife and all that faff? Absolutely not when it comes to this kit. You have got those printed die cut and scored pieces all good to go all you need to do is just literally reinforce those score lines and you've got a concertina card straight out the packet then as if it wasn't enough to give you all of those card bases and with matching envelopes as well we're also giving you all of the die cuts they just come on a4 sheets just pop those out and use those to embellish your makes. Some of them are decoupage as well. We actually include tons and tons of these. So what I find personally with these, I don't use all of the embellishments on that card. I can save them for use on another card, which gives you even more value for money. So that's the first design from our everyday occasions. Next up, we have this one. I think this is absolutely beautiful. Yeah, you've got that lovely lavender in there. Perhaps you've got a keen gardener in the family. That would make a perfect card for them. I'm thinking retirement cars as well. That would work an absolute treat. Next up, we're going all things tropical. This is a funky one, isn't it? I think this is going to be great for maybe the teenagers in your life. I think they'll absolutely love this one. This is our Everyday Occasions design number three. 
Then we have our fourth design. Being a tea lover, I'm a Yorkshire lass. I love my Yorkshire tea, that is for sure. I love this design. And if you love afternoon tea like I do, then this would work an absolute treat. Think about maybe including this if you're gifting um, vouchers for afternoon tea, maybe decorating that up using some of these toppers because like I say, you will have leftover toppers after you've created that concertina shutter card. So maybe you're gonna be decorating the uh, gift tag or the present using those leftover bits that you've got onto that. And then finally, the last of our designs from the Everyday Occasions set is this gorgeous one. Absolutely love uh, the colorways that we've got in here. Something really nice, bright and vibrant with those pinks and those reds. Really stylish. I think great for maybe the older teenagers or younger ladies in your life. Maybe it's going to be for prom. Maybe it's going to be just a birthday card or just because absolutely beautiful when you bring in that concertina card element as well you get that lovely movement that kinetic sort of feel to your cards it makes them super special but in literally no time at all then we move on to do you know what these are even better the right way around we move on to our christmas designs love this one because for me this is not just about christmas it's all about your festive mates so not just christmas day itself but all the way through to your new year celebrations a little bit unusual to see that actually in paper craft form so fabulous to have this included and i love the gold color tones in here maybe you're going to elevate this further by bringing in some of your gilding flakes that would work an absolute treat onto that design Next up, oh, doesn't this just give you lovely, warm, cosy winter vibes? Love this one with the hot cocoa or the hot chocolate. You've got all your baked goods on there, your little cinnamon sticks, your star anise. Just absolutely beautiful. Then we're going super traditional with that sort of driving home for Christmas look and feel. Love the reds and greens onto that one. Then we're going a little bit more modern again, back to the sort of uh, baking theme. Love the soft colourways that you've got with this particular design. And then finally, as part of this uh, lovely Joys of the Season card kit, you're getting this fabulous design. Really like the, um, the colour combination we've got with the very t pale teal and your red. It looks absolutely fabulous. So you're getting both concertina card kits, both your everyday and your Christmas designs for a platinum club price today of £38.40 or $46.40. But even better if you're using that code DROP because that's taking an extra 17% off. And our Debbie's going to show us just how fabulous these kits are. Super easy. They're, they're, they're your Christmas cards or your everyday cards. Super easy made because We've done all that hard work for you. You just you just get creative and then just decide if you want to keep them as they are or if you go back and watch that first look show with our Craig that I did about two Saturdays ago or three Saturdays ago, I think it was now, um, where he showed you how you could make the most out of your kit as well. So there's lots to be doing with it. But if you just want to make quick, easy cards that have got envelopes that they fit all of these card bases in, this is absolutely the one for you. And I do love this style of card because it is that lovely concertina, so easy mm. to achieve that look. And that's in your Christmas ones. And I'm not going to lie, I absolutely love the having the Happy New Year in there uh, as well. I do. It's different, isn't it? You it never see that, do you? Absolutely is, yeah. And then the everyday ones, obviously the everyday ones you've got, it's exactly the same, the concept. And I've picked that one because it's one of my favourite ones, mm. the Flamingo. I just think there's something joyous about all of those colours. But you don't have to work out anything. And even on the other side, we've thought of absolutely everything. So it just looks like a lovely, finished, beautiful card. And again, if you if you make to sell these are absolutely going to be the one for you but do you know when we talked about making it something oh, different oh wow look at that look at this amazing honestly i did this myself at um oh. maker by mistake Lily, oh because i okay. folded me fo i'd folded one of my cards one way and one of my cards oh. the other and ended up with a double oh. i'm like oh that looked nice stuck together oh. and i stuck it together it'll create this wow factor i love that so i'm pleased that someone's done exactly the same here um they've used it just by adding some tape to that but you can't even see it mm. can't even see it absolutely great isn't that a wow factor yeah and still folds up and goes into your four by six envelope which Amazing. i think is absolutely genius let's show you how easy it is to put together oh, though yeah let's have a I've look i've got to go with my favorite sorry oh, i've love got to that go with one. it i just love her I think there's just something about these that is just absolutely amazing. The concertina part is the easy bit because it's mm. all been done for you. You've got all of this beautiful design on there. You've got all of the gorgeous foiling in there as well. I don't know if you can see that. Um, mm -hmm. where you can see all of that lovely um, feature and that foiling is absolutely exquisite. Oh, yeah. What for me does it is having it on the back side as well because that just creates that lovely finished look. Mm -hmm. Now, the easy way to get all the score lines are in, including the cut line, so there's nothing for you to worry about whatsoever. It is all taken care of for you. And it's just a question of um, which way that you go. Now, I always start with the middle bit, but you 
absolutely can start at the top bit if you want, but I'm going to go with that first fold and just bend it in. Mm -hmm. So that one's going to come in, or should I say a mountain? Okay. And yeah. then the same with this, just so you can see how I'm doing this, is it's just you're manipulating those folds into place. Mm -hmm. And again, that one I'm going to bring in, and it's just literally the opposite ends. So if you're going one way, you're going to go the opposite end on the other. Okay. And it's that easy to remember. But to be fair, the cardstock does all the hard work yeah. for you, Lily. It does, you don't it? have to worry about a thing. And I know our team, you had a time of your life making these we certainly samples. Did. Yeah, it was because me it and... couldn't be any easier. Yeah, me and Nicola who was producing, we actually made all the samples for this. We had the time of our life. We absolutely loved this kit. We were sort of fight because we had to do at least one of every design. We were sort of fighting over the design who was going to do which. <laughs> I think Nicola actually got this one. I pulled the short straw. Nicola got this design because it is absolutely stunning. And I know we've popped happy new year's a sentiment uh, as part of that sheet but take that sentiment out it can be for any occasion it could be for prom uh, it could be for a wedding even if you want it to be but look how easy that is so I mean, easy so i easy. mean it's been done for you and what i like i said having the other side matching because don't forget this is a constitution it's a concept card and so you want the back back part of it to look as good as that front part oh, yeah. and so now it's just a question of popping and using the toppers mm -hmm. so that's exactly what we're going to do now it is it is a topper sheet but it's also got elements of decoupage in there as well mm -hmm. so by that i mean if i just pull this one out you can see this gorgeous design it's now got either two toppers or mm -hmm. can be used as an element of decoupage, which is what I'm going to do in a second. But lots and lots of lovely features, including sentiments. And you simply pop them out. It is that easy to use this. And what's lovely about it is, as well, is it's all been die cut for you, but it doesn't leave... I mean, if it does leave a little pip or two, you just mm -hmm. take... You simply get your little scissors and, and fussy cut that out, but mm -hmm. it could not be any easier. And I just want to show you... Oh, don't be heavy-ended like Debbie. Oh, dear. I've split my glass, <gasps> Debbie. Oh, no. Honestly, you have a leak. I am. I did tell you, I'm quite heavy-handed. Mm. I don't mean to be, but it happens. So I'm just going to have to have the one glass now. Drat. Oh, not very generous, are we? Only one glass. <laughs> <laughs> but um, you can see all of those pieces. Look how many. And that's just in the one. Yeah. Just in the Amazing. one, which I think is absolutely incredible. It really is. And then it's just a question of what are you going to decoupage up? Are you going to do any decoupage? Well, I am on mine. I'm going to give it a little decoupage. I was going to use uh, foam pads, but um, I want the right size foam pads. So I'm going to have to ask Tracy for some more because oh. uh, I think we're all out. I think we've all been using the large ones. Yeah. Lots of little tiny ones, but uh, yeah. I just need I just need some bigger ones. So I'm just going to decoupage those up. I'm using, of course, my favourite glue. 3D Chunk, is it chunky glue? glue? Chunky oh, glue, chunky of course glue. it's chunky glue. Chunky Got a bit glue. of chunky glue in your life. Um, but yeah, so all I'm going to do is um, just design uh, what I'm decoupaging up. Mm -hmm. So I've got some extra little pieces here. I've got um, the next style, which is the dress, the champagne glasses, this time not the clock. So mm -hmm. let's add all of that on to there. And I'm going to put quite a bit of chunky glue just into that backdrop. With this, though, you will need to let it dry. With a foam pad, it's instant. Mm -hmm. With a wet glue, you have to let it dry as well. Thank you, Tracy. So I can just fetch me some foam pads in. Um, but yes, yeah, so that, that's the only difference that you're gonna you know, you know you're gonna use. Now I'm just gonna get this onto there to start with. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna add just a little bit because I'm gonna have it overhanging that first part. Oh, so yeah, I'm just like gonna that. pop a little bit of glue just down here to stick that on. I am gonna use our tape. Because mm -hmm. it is strong tape. It certainly is. So just adding a little bit onto there and then adding that detail. Oh, that's gorgeous. Going across. There we go. I'm trying not to squash it because I've got wet glue on there. See, uh, that's Lily. why I prefer be foam pads. Yeah, I, I'll mm. be totally honest. When it comes to the decoupage, that's exactly how I prefer. Now Tracy's fetched me some in, I'll switch. Let's do a switch. She's a good one, isn't she? She's she must have heard me. She must have done. She must yeah. have heard me, yeah. She's busy away outside sorting stuff out for tomorrow's show. Well, there's a yeah. lot going off it tomorrow. It certainly is. There's a lot going off, guys. You don't want to be missing mm -hmm. out. Uh, but we'll fill you in with details later on. We certainly will, yes. <laughs> a lot going up tomorrow, believe you me. But a lot going off today as well. We've got that uh, drop code is still happening throughout the day. Uh, we have got 17% off, but that's only valid until... 
8 p.m. UK time tonight. We will have a, a um, separate offer that will run between 8 p.m. and midnight, but it won't be quite as good as 17% off. So if you want to take advantage of 17% off your order, make sure you're adding the code DROP before 8 o'clock tonight. It does exclude all of your August launches, but it does include your July launches like this particular kit. It uh, excludes gift vouchers and machines, and it's one use per customer, but 17% off is amazing. So make sure you pop in DROP into that promo code box. I still think it's fabulous mm -hmm. to be able to have all that Goodness, extra yeah. discount. I think it's absolutely amazing. Amazing. A bit like that card. I cannot get over. I love that. It, honestly, it's crackers, mm. isn't it? Yeah. Absolutely crackers. This card is looking fabulous, but how quick and easy. And literally, we've seen this being created from scratch. Yeah, Nothing and that's the beauty of these, isn't it? It really is the beauty of them. Um, and again, you don't, you don't have to use a chunky glue, Debbie. Mm -hmm. You've got glue bit getting mixed up there. Um, you can use your dry glues as well because you yeah. can just add these as little embellishments dotted around your card. So let's add a little shoe onto the inside. There we go. Um, I'm going to use that on the back, but yeah, use as, as much or as little as you want. Mm -hmm. You don't have to use them all. As you've seen with our Craig when he's used, um, when he did do the first look show, he absolutely um, made the most out of the cardstock by literally changing some of those elements around, adding to bits of cardstock, chopping into the bases. It was really lovely to watch. Mm. Um, and a lot of it, bless him, he, he did, again, a bit like myself. I mean, I've just used a few bits there, but again, just look how fabulous. Now, I'm going to have to let mine dry because I've obviously got uh, a bit of mixed glues into there. But you can see the dimension and how gorgeous do they look? Super, super easy. And how many cards does it make? Is it 20, I believe? 20? Yeah, 20. 20 cards that Amazing. you're going to be able to make in the blink of an eye. A couple of hours, yeah, if that. if that, yeah. And you're going to make yourself 20 cards? And if you, if you charged a couple of pound per card, that's £20 times two, 40, times that by another one because you've got two card kits in there. That's mm -hmm. like, you could, if that's what you wanted to do. My Auntie Jean, God rest her soul, that's what she used to do. Mm -hmm. She used to buy these kind of kits. She used to sell, sell them on for like two, three pounds and make the money for the St. Luke's Hawks base in Sheffield. You'll know that one, Lily, being yep, Sheffield girl. Certainly do. Um, and that's how she used to make, because she, she won, not a business, because she was doing it for charity, but that's how she used to make the most. That's what you could mm. do. If you are making yep. this as a little crafty business for yourself, that's exactly what you could be doing. And the quality of these enables you to be able to charge that little bit extra as well. Mm, yeah. it certainly does. Absolutely love that. But it just goes to show how quick and easy your Christmas crafting can be if you so choose. That's your concertina card kit collection as part of that collection you're not getting just a, that christmas car kit you're also getting the everyday as well so two car kits with nearly a thousand elements in total for a platinum club price today of 38 pounds 40 or 46 dollars 40. now we've got some fabulous creator card dies coming up next this is our christmas half creator card uh, die collection now these are really quite new we only launched these I want to say a few weeks ago, not much more than a few weeks ago. So these are really hot off the press and they've been proving so, so popular already. I think it's the sort of versatility that you're getting with this in this collection. I think there's so many different techniques you can do with these, so many different styles you can mix and match these with. And if you want them to be, they can just be those quick and easy cards, but with real impact. So as part of this collection, you're getting six different die sets coming in at a platinum club price today of £80 or $93.60. Don't forget though, it's not an August launch. Pop that, pop that uh, drop code into that promo code box and you'll get an extra 17% off. But what exactly are you getting as part of this absolutely stunning collection? So first up, we have our Joyous Poinsettia. And I've, been, I've talked about how you can use these with lots of different techniques. For me, I think there's certain designs in the collection that lend themselves to certain different techniques. And for me, this one is definitely your paper piecing. Cut this, back it with your acetate, and then get paper piecing all of those designs back into there. Can be selective paper piecing. You don't always have to paper piece that full design. Think about just paper piecing those petals. Don't have to do all the leaves and the swirls if you don't want to. I think sometimes that can have even more impact, but that would look absolutely incredible paper pieced. Next up, another one that I think works a treat paper piece is our beautiful jubilant bells. I mean, maybe you're going to snip out some of the holly or perhaps cover some of that up. Those could be wedding bells if you want them to be. It doesn't just have to be about Christmas when it comes to this collection, but get all your metallic card out, get your glitters out, and that's going to embellish up an absolute treat. Now, if you're liking this die design, make sure you tune into Saturday's Craft Along because a little birdie tells me, Craig, 
very may, may well be using this fabulous die set to create his craft along. He's going to be bringing in some of his tri blend pens, he's going to be bringing in some of his inks as well. This works to treat coloured up, maybe some glossy highlights, but if you want even more inspiration with that particular die set, make sure you join Craig for his craft along on Saturday. I believe it's at two o'clock here in the UK. Next up, we have our beautiful pretty baubles. Think about snipping into this, it doesn't just have to be a half creator card die. You could be snipping into these uh, couple of baubles here, and that could just be a separate embellishment onto your cards. Well, it's absolutely brilliant backing it with another colour of cardstock to allow that colour to shine through the detail. Absolutely beautiful. It works brilliantly in those sorts of frosted tones. Maybe you're going to be adding glitter glue details to some of those baubles. Absolutely beautiful die set that we've got there. Then next up we have our fabulous snowflake here, our winter snowflake. And I love the fact that we've called it a winter snowflake. See, snowflakes of course, not just for Christmas, can be any occasion throughout the winter. Maybe a winter birthday or a winter wedding. That would work an absolute treat for this die design as well. Think about cutting this in white and adding your inks or perhaps some of your uh, glitters onto there. Gilding waxes as well would work a treat on that one. But the level of detail on there is absolutely incredible. And then finally we have our under the tree. And for me, this is one that you want to be getting out your pens, cutting it in white and get colouring that fabulous image. So much detail within there, but fabulous to have that half creator card uh, die design where one side stays within that cardstock and the other side cuts out allowing you to create lots of different edgeable concepts but almost like a fusion between an edgeable and a creator card which I absolutely love. All six dies as part of this collection for a Platinum Club price today of £80 or $93.60 and I think Debbie has a little bit of inspiration with this fabulous collection. Absolutely. I'll show you a little, um, a few little bits first before I, before I go into the demo because these are apps. I absolutely love these. Again, mm. another, another favourite of mine. I love creator cards. I love the fact that you can create the half in and half out factor with them because mm. I think that is absolutely beautiful. But there's so many more ways that you could use these. They're just, aren't they? I mean, quick, mm. simple, easy cards or boxes because it could be a gift box as well so you could add them to your gift boxes um but paper piece you could do a little bit of paper piece and if you want to do some paper piece in to keep it really nice and simple look how gorgeous that is in craft Ooh. card with a bit of hint of gold behind the back look at this beauty oh oh wow we'll be doing in a second but honestly absolutely gorgeous no matter which way you look at that's another gorgeous one look at that mm, love such that. a simple one creating whether it be a half fold or whether you create like a nice little inky background and then lift it off because that's got a little bit of dimension to it as well mm. they're just incredible dies these there's such a lot of fun now i'm going to use the poinsettia the joy joyous poinsettia um, and again let me just make sure because i thought then for a second this is a fresh box oh blimey me Debbie. Used. <gasps> i mean come on what have let, you done to deserve this surely, new pens sure, fresh dies i'm just thinking sorts. surely there's not another one in there that's already been opened let me just, there we go. Oh. I thought then I'm thinking, I've got that can't be I've got right. I didn't want to do it. I didn't no. want to open it up. Oh. That's the thing. Honestly, I can't stand doing that. I always feel <laughs> terrible. I feel naughty <laughs> doing it. <laughs> now, the lovely thing about these, on each one of your dies, you've got this little, um, it's like the edgeable factor that I call it, where mm. you've got it, the outside pit is the bit that cuts out. This, then it stops here. This is the bit that stays connected into the cardstock. So if you were doing it halfway, that bit would stay in the card, that bit would cut out. Because I'm going to be creating a, a bit of an easel card. So what I've done is, and I'll give you the measurements so you can see, because this is a big, I want to tell you, these dies are big. So this mm. is 11 and a half by six and a half, and I've scored it at five and three quarters. Okay. What I've also done though, and you could either do it with a pencil mark, but I've, pop, I've popped on my scoreboard just a couple of little nicks either side so that I could line mm -hmm. up my die, because I want to remember, I'm creating an easel, and I want to cut out the top bit not the bottom the bottom mm -hmm. i want to stay connected this is going to be the easel flap so to speak mm -hmm. um so for that matter i need to remember when i'm using this the outside die is facing the top mm -hmm. so these two nicks allow me then to line up roughly where i've popped me two little and if it's a pencil mark where your pencil mark would be through the halfway point so nice and easy to remember and then you're going to hold that down with some low tack tape Okay. Because this is the bit that's going to cut away. This is the bit that's going to stay connected. So I'm going to hold that down at the top. And I think I will up. Where's my tape gone? Have I used it all? Oh, oh. some more. I didn't realise I used it all. I know. Terrible. Now, mm -hmm. let's go into there and then run that through. So I'm going to open it up. 
I'm going to bring in my large dies, uh, large dies, large oh. plates, pop yep. that onto the large plates. Okay. And then I'm going to use it as a normal thin metal die again. So the combination plastic, magnetic, and the other cutting plate onto the top. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to run that through Lovely. my machine. Easy enough. Uh, and it's as simple as that. That's what I love about these, mm. though. Create half a card instantly. Mm. Um, lots of different ways. I think we had a lovely black and white concept when we launched this. Oh, we Lily. did, yeah. Um, incredible. Which is a shame I haven't got it right now to show you because it is, honestly, really mm. versatile dies. Mm. But again, the price, I think for, that for might a new be launch. the launch price mm. on a brand new launch. But, but uh, uh, we didn't have drop as a code. No, mm -mm. we didn't have that drop. So, yeah, so that might be a good opportunity to get hold of yours now if you were sat on that fence and take advantage of that extra percentage off as mm. well, which I just think, yeah, why, why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? Do you know um, what? I'm going to be really, really honest with you, Debbie. Yeah. When I first saw these dies, I wasn't 100% sure on them. Really? I thought, you know, I thought they're pretty, but I thought... How much mileage am I going to get out of these? And honestly, it was one of those where Lily had to eat her words. As soon as I started playing with these, I was like, <laughs> oh my goodness, I couldn't believe how versatile these were. Because I thought, Do you know what? You're only getting the one die. It's quite a large die. I thought, how many different concepts can I do with this? How many different sort of ideas can I start to come up with it? But honestly, when you start playing with these, I was shocked by the amount of ideas that started running through my mind. It's one of those where as you start to play with it, you start to think, oh, I could do that. I could do that. <laughs> I could use that colouring medium, or I could paper piece, or I could do that. Honestly, they are so versatile. And I think one of the reasons why is because, in my mind at least, it's like a cross between an edgeable and a creator card. So all those sorts of ideas you can do with your edgeable dies, you can do with these. <coughs> all those sorts of ideas you do with your creator card dies, you can do with these. Think mm. of all the different colouring yeah, mediums exactly. you can use. Honestly, I was a little bit like, all right, Lily, yeah, you're wrong. You, At the words. Yeah, when you think that it's, um, you know, from from the creator card range, that's exactly what you want to treat it as. Mm. It's just that it's got the word half there. And yeah. the half, I think, is throwing people. Mm. Now, you can see the lovely feature how that's cut, and it's only cut off. So if I was using this as a half fold at this point, and this is exactly what I'm going to do, I'm just going to bend that over, mm -hmm. because that now creates the easel card. Oh, and it's oh. got that lovely, let me get rid of that little piece there. It creates the easel. Mm. Uh, so that's just one way that you can use that. So we'll do a little bit of decoration. I'm just going to put my score lines into place. Mm -hmm. Now, on my original card, I did have some ink, but we're in the other studio, and I know we don't have any inks in this studio. So um, I I'm going to leave it white. It's absolutely fine. I'm going to leave it white. You it's, sure? it's fine. Confection yeah, no, it, honestly, it's fine. It's fine. It's just that... Um, yeah, you could ink it, you could do a little bit of paper piecing behind it, because mm. what you could do is add some acetate there as well to the back of it if you wanted to. But I'm going to keep it as it is, because I think sometimes white, a bit of fresh white, it looks lovely. Oh, now, it does. I'm going to use, now I use this paper from, um, do you know the paper library? Oh, gosh, yeah. I forgot I've got mine until I kicked it over Oof. the other day at Wonder Table. Oh, dear. And I thought, ooh. Christmas papers are in there. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, this is from me, temp, uh, yeah, from the... Uh, paper temp, library. library. Paper library. Yeah. Gosh, there's so many different libraries. Too many libraries. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, I've actually been using mine a bit more because it was one of those. I had one, of course I had one. Yes, I, I've got so many paper pads. I did forget that I had it. Mm. I've been using it with some of my uh, Halloween dies. Mmm. New mm. Halloween launches that are coming. I found some of the papers in that paper library. <laughs> Work a treat. But we'll say no more about that. Craig's already spilt too many beans when it comes to the Halloween launch. <laughs> that is for sure uh, but yeah amazing stuff coming up it's coming up soon though isn't very it? soon yeah not not long at all but it does fly around doesn't it flies by i know gosh uh, do you know what scared me the other day well i'm thinking oh my god it's it's august eight months of the year wow that's scary isn't yeah it? that is kind that of scary really really scary uh, it's flying by too fast and it's literally, I was going to say, we've had the summer, because the summer, where's the summer? I'm not sure we ever had the summer. We, we had a summer. <laughs> I think we did have a little bit of sunshine, but I'm so upset oh. we've not had very much of one. I know. Um, now, if you recognise these, <gasps> do you recognise these? Oh, we do. Yeah, so these are some of our Merry Christmas stamp and die sets that we had. Yeah, I've got um, those coming up, actually. I've got a craft vault on Sunday morning. Have you? Yeah, some of those are coming up on craft vault. Oh, fab. Mm, so now, check that out. At the moment, you'll, see, you'll look at it and you'll probably think, hmm could do with something else well it okay. can because i'm going to add a little bit of a background part to it um and i've literally chopped myself using the outline of the die uh -huh. chopped myself a little bit of uh, red tape uh, tape red, red tape mm. mirror card 
Thank you. That one. Mirror card, yeah. Oh, yeah. I've silly stuck me mucky finger in the centre of it. But I'm going to line it up and attach it to the back. So mm -hmm. literally take that now and line that up. So it's a little bit of a, a cheat's way of paper Ooh, piecing. Yeah. I love so, this technique. It's brilliant. Yeah, it's just it? honestly, it's probably probably the quickest and easiest way. Now, you could use your dotty tape pen at, at that point, but because this is really filigree, I am going to use... Um, fine tip glue applicator, that one. Tacky glue with your fine tip glue Tacky applicator. Tacky glue, thank you. Yes, we'll get there you. It's a good job you're there with me. It's a good job you're there. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. I don't know why I'm struggling with some of the words today. Oh, it's just some, sometimes days are just like that. Sometimes we have days like that. As well, sometimes we have days where um, I always say I've got wonky eyes sometimes. Sometimes <laughs> you're there crafting and you're trying to line stuff up and you look at it and you think, Lily, that is so skew with. It's unreal. So we all have funny days, whether it's our mouths or our, our eyes. It does. Yeah. It, you know, it, it can, can't it? It happens to the best of us. It, it does. certainly does. So I'm just going to line that up now and I'm going to turn it that way so I've got a better better way of getting that on and because I've used wet glue it gives me a bit of time to get that into place as mm, well so perfect. let me just and I've not purposely not used um all-purpose glue because it's solvent based and because I've got a mirror card to this it would strip the colour uh -huh. you can see so I'm gonna have to let that dry but I'm not gonna rub it because if I rub it it'll yeah, end up no. making making it look a little teeny weeny little bit messy yeah. however you can see the gist of how you would get that card and we then if I lift can. that up, it creates that half fold easel card. The only difference that I did with this one, um, Lily, was I inked around it. Okay. So I inked round the edge with a bit of green. Now it was mm -hmm. the, if I remember right, I mean gr grasshopper. Grasshopper, it looks um, like it. I've gone around the edge with. And then just right in that very centre, can you see that I've added? So again, use your dye and uh, I chopped out with the gold. Because I had cut this out in gold before, but it's mm -hmm. got a little hint of gold just in the centre. Oh, yeah. Just to give it that little lift. And that's the kind of thing that you can be doing with these cards and creating that half a card feature. And whether or not, like I said, if you were having it, so if it were that way, pretend those sentiments aren't that way around. Mm -hmm. But you could see how you create that half yeah. in and half out. So in and out, in and out. And it creates that lovely feature, which means you can do lovely things like this. Absolutely love that. What a stunning card. Just goes to show one of the many, many concepts that you can do with this incredible range of dies. And don't forget, you can be recreating that concept with any of the six different designs that you're getting as part of this collection. I'm going to quickly run you through the designs that you are getting included. So for £80 or $93.60 if you're part of Platinum, of course, use that code DROP to take that 17% off. Here's the one that Debbie just used, that fabulous Joyous Poinsettia. Then we have, I think this one might be my favourite just because it is such a dream to actually colour that in using some of your alcohol based pens. That's your under the tree. Next up we have our beautiful uh, winter snowflake, beautiful design with that one. And then we have, this is so so filigree isn't it, we have our baubles here, absolutely love our pretty baubles. And then next up another of my favourites once again because it does colour up an absolute dream, that is our Yuletide wreath. Stay tuned for Craze Craft Long sets. Saturday afternoon with that one and then finally we have our fabulous jubilant bells and like I said earlier maybe cover up or snip out some of those elements and you can be using that all year round so that's our fabulous Christmas half creator card six piece die collection for a platinum club price today of £80 or $93.60 now just to give you a chance to check out those baskets perhaps take advantage of that fabulous 17% off drop discount code we're going to go for a little break but we'll be back in just a couple of minutes for lots more incredible deals and of course plenty more inspiration too so we'll see you in just a minute welcome to crafters tv with more than 35 hours of live shows each week it's your home for all things craft we shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations. Join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day. Are we in trouble or are we all right? <laughs> yeah. Should be, should be should coming be in. in. Should be coming in. <laughs> what does she do? Exactly what did she do? <laughs> this is awesome. This is awesome. Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on Catch Up at CraftersCompanion.com, Facebook, or our YouTube channels. 
You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. And I want you every day. And it's just what really gets you through when you're really at rock bottom. There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. Crafters TV, create every day. Here at Crafters TV, it couldn't be easier to get social with us. Whether you're watching on Facebook or YouTube, on your TV or tablet, you can get so close to the action, it's like you're in the studio with us. You can ask questions about products or crafty techniques. Get hints and tips from our expert demonstrators. Plus, share pictures of your crafty makes with our amazing community. Crafters TV, getting you closer to the crafty action. Here at Crafters TV, it couldn't be easier to get your hands on the latest crafty must-haves. Leave the hard work to us while you shop from the comfort of your own living room. Head to the Crafters Companion website to see our full crafty range, or hit the Shop the Day button to see all the new and exciting products featuring on Crafters TV. Once you've filled your cart, leave it to us to get your crafty goodies to you in super quick time so you can get on with being creative. Crafter's Companion, making crafty shopping a breeze. Welcome to Club Inspire the Crafters Companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Hello and welcome back to Crafters TV. Can't believe we've got just under 20 minutes left on this masterclass. It's been an absolutely fabulous show so far, hasn't it? So much inspiration from Debbie when it comes to your Christmas crafting. I hope you guys at home are all feeling super inspired when it comes to those festive makes and you're sort of ready to tackle the Christmas cards. Because let's be honest, the sooner we start, the more time we've got to work on them. And it's always better to get them done early if we possibly can. Speaking from experience, I quite often, I'm sat up on Christmas Eve making mine so maybe Lily you should take your own advice however lots and lots of love coming in for Debbie's demonstrations throughout the show uh, Stephanie is saying gorgeous Lois is saying beautiful card thank you Debbie Barbara Art is loving that touch of red didn't it look fabulous with that mirror card I do love the red mirror at Christmas that's for sure Colette is saying Debbie your card uh, is gorgeous it makes me want to get my Christmas cards made after about four or five other projects in progress Coletta, that sounds very, very familiar. Uh, Christine Mahoney saying another gorgeous card, Debbie. And Carletta is also saying lovely card, Debbie. Honestly, it's been so much inspiration in this show already. Debbie's going to be squeezing in another demonstration in just a moment. What she's going to be using is our fabulous Christmas nesting dies. Me and Debbie were talking uh, between, between the shows. We both absolutely love nesting dies, whether they're every day, whether they're Christmas, whether mm, they're Halloween. Didn't say that. Uh, Christmas ones we've got here, these are absolutely beautiful. And the fabulous thing about nesting dies is you can use them alongside so many different things that you've already got in your crafty stash. So maybe you've got other stamps, maybe you've got those uh, Tis the Season stamps and dies that we were showing you earlier. Of course you can use these dies alongside those. Maybe you've got some of those uh, decoupage topper pads that we brought you just a few weeks ago. These are going to be perfect scene setters for all of those incredible toppers. However you're choosing to mix and match these, these are going to be a crafty staple when it comes to your Christmas makes. So as part of this collection you're getting a whopping 20 dies. When you see the scale of some of these dies, you'll see that £26.66 or 
$30 is outstanding value for money. And that's before we even take off that extra 17% off if you're using the code DROP. Love the fact that within this collection, we're giving you a range of different sizes and shapes. So it doesn't matter if you're into your square cards, your rectangular cards, your slimline cards, just about everything is covered when it comes to this range of dies. First up, that one that Debbie used in that earlier demonstration, mixing and matching alongside that Tis the Season collection. This is our Yuletide Bloom. Three separate dies, I'll, I tell a lie, it's four separate dies. Wow, four separate dies, you get three frames and then we're also including that little embellishment in the center so three nesting dies and your embellishment included in that one lovely square design then we come on to our rectangles and these are going to be ideal for your four by six upwards sorts of cards beautiful level of detail within our sparkling snowflakes and within this one you've got four dies again because you'll see that center die you can choose to use that or not if you do choose to use that it cuts that detail into the center of that tag use it without that center detail and you'll just have a solid tag perfect for stamping your sentiments onto next up another of our rectangular die sets is our beautiful baubles once again you're getting four dies included your three frames and then your little embellishment die one die for those two but it will cut the two baubles in just the one past by joining them together it means you're less likely to lose a diddy little die that we've got there next up we have got our fabulous starry night i think debbie's going to use this in her next demonstration in just a moment this is ideal for those dl or slimline cards once again you're getting four separate dies included and i really do love that swirly border that we're getting included as that extra little die in the middle i think that one's going to be super useful with all of your crafting not just for christmas and then finally you've got your fabulous holly and berries another four die collection i really love that second die in i love the shape of that it's almost like a cross between a rectangle and an oval isn't it I think that's super stylish and you've got your holly border included too so 20 dies inc included as part of this collection for 26 pounds 66 or 30 dollars an outstanding value um, range when it comes to these but there's so much you can do with them which is what debbie is about to show us in just a moment yeah i love the absolutely love 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 these um and i do particularly like the starry night one i'm not gonna lie because mm. uh, i look at this and sometimes i don't instantly think christmas i think no. there's other ways that you could use this um yeah because it, it, it's got the star design which you would automatically think of the star of one of all those kind of things mm. but because of the stars it's not overly christmas this one which i absolutely love mm. um now i am going to use some textured cardstock it does come in four dies for you so you have uh, four nested dies again like with the the square one that i used earlier on you've got the outside cutting edge but the inside stays solid so it does mean that when you cut that through you've got a solid piece you can however get around that by adding in the central piece too at the same time okay. and you can create an aperture which is what we're going to do in a moment so for that reason i am going to show you what i mean by that so mm -hmm. let's turn that over and i'm going to pop that one in at the same time as well and i'm going to hold that down because i don't want it slipping because it'll affect the border if it slips so okay. i'm going to try and make sure i've got that evenly across both pieces of the cardstock mm -hmm. you could of course use your metal shim in your uh, not metal shim magnetic, magnetic shim in your yeah. gemini to hold it into place if you wanted to as well mm -hmm. um, i'll come back to that one in a second because you've got this other lovely die and this one too included um, and i think i've got another little blue piece that i can pop on yeah yeah definitely i'll be able to get away with that um, and just attach that on perfect like so and then i'm going to get them onto my plate so mm -hmm. let's move those onto the plates that's the beauty of having your a4 cutting plates it just allows you to cut lots and lots of dies at once it yeah time, definitely yeah absolutely um which is why um, i've popped that on i'm going to just add at least three of them on there but they're three decorative dies to be fair mm, yeah um and i'm asking a lot of the machine and sometimes depending on how many you put on there lily mm. i know we talk about the machine being a one pass wonder and one die cut and you know one pass of the machine it's, it's all done for you mm -hmm. sometimes the nature of your dies though you may need to run it through twice yeah um you know at the end of the day it's a very powerful machine we all mm -hmm. know that but if you for instance if i turn this over now and just um, have a little peek oh 
Oh, wow. Well, well I well, even worry because... You can eat your words and, now then, and, Debbie, can't you? I to show you what uh, I meant by that, but... Um, do you have now is having no none of it? I cut in through that at all. But there is mm -hmm. occasions where you may need to run it through um, for a second time. <laughs> Typical, isn't it? Just what I'm going to show you. Just show you. Come on. No, 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 no I'm not. After all. No, what dear. I will tell you, though, is with these beautiful dyes, you know the waist? You've got lots oh, of lovely yeah. stars in there. Oh, Make yeah. Make some really nice little shaker elements for your shaker cards. Yeah, or your confetti, even Com table confetti. Yeah, 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 absolutely. No um, waste at all. But you can see just by adding that dye in, I've created this lovely aperture. Mm. If you don't put that dye in, it's a solid piece. So it means yeah. that your nested dye then could sit in there and then the rest. So again, I've got all these in blue at the moment. That's, there's a reason for that. So I'll show you in a second. Okay. Um, but yeah, let me just take all of these pieces out to show you. I mean, I, I adore this one. Mm. It was a joy working with it again because it's been a while since I've worked with these. So it was, it was really lovely to work with them again. Let me just move all of those out of the way and get rid of all my rubbish. There we go. Right, so now I've got my die cut pieces. You can see where the nesting comes into it mm. because they fit within each other. Certainly and do. So they, they literally then sit on top. And then again, to be fair, I mean, I do love doing, I don't know about yourself, but I do love in a colour on top of a colour, like oh, a white I do, or yeah. a centura bird. Tone on tone Looks works really lovely. But there is a reason why I've done it this way, um, because that was obviously the inner part of that dye. If you run it through again in a different colour, that's the colour that I've chose obviously earlier, but I didn't use that one because I wanted to show you how to create the aperture. Yeah. Um, so that then can sit on the inside. So, and again, now that's when you can start to line up and create that lovely nesting, Ooh, which yeah. just looks beautiful. However, that's not what I'm going to do, uh, because this is a masterclass after all, so we'll show you. Now, obvi for obvious reasons, there isn't mm -hmm. a solid dye in there, because if I'd have run that through the dye, it would have cut out all that detail. Uh -huh. yeah. However, pop your dye over some cardstock and draw around it. Oh, and yeah. And then just fussy cut, scissor it, because what I wanted to do was create a little bit of a backdrop. So let me just pop my tape pen just onto the back of there mm -hmm. I wanted to create a backdrop of oh, pink yeah. behind it so I just used the dye mm -hmm. drew around it and then took my fussy cut scissors and it oh. gives it that instant lift great tip something else I sometimes do with that I'll sometimes stick it down first and then just fussy cut around the edge undercutting yeah. ever so slightly so there's different ways and means of doing it but yeah use your dies as uh, templates as well to get sort of more options more versatility from them don't just look at what they'll actually cut for you think of how you can use them as stencils and templates to actually create your own shapes as well absolutely then I'm going to come in and add let me just turn it this way make it a bit easier for myself with it being a slim line you can get um there, that's better. Mm -hmm. So that's created that lovely slim line feature. I've already put mine onto uh, my Xyron. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to add that into the centre. Lovely. So that's part of the nesting die done, but obviously I've got this piece. And I've got a card base. Now, mm -hmm. with the card base, and I will just tell you, because I'll, I'll, I'll show you in stages, because I've just seen the time. I've clocked the time. I've used um, double-sided A3 cardstock for this. Yep. And I'll give you the measurements, because it is quite a large base, because these are super large dies. Certainly are, right? So they? this measures at 12 inches by mm -hmm. 8 and 3 quarters. Mm -hmm. And I've scored it at 4, I've scored it at 8, and I've scored it at 10. So what it's creating is like a little bit of a fold back. So again mountain valley mountain and it creates this lovely fold up feature mm -hmm. now i want to create an aperture into the front part of my card so using your die but before you do mount some cardstock onto the front mm -hmm. now for that part and I'll, I'll just show you you need to make sure that it's it's like dry dry um yeah oh, i'm debating now oh choices it's because choices. that's why i eat both sides because i'm like i don't yeah. know which one to use i think i'm going to go with this, the snow one that is the thing about your double-sided papers they're great aren't they but we they're have to make bit, choices yeah. <laughs> we're not good at that it's too exactly. hard exactly and i never know which one to use no i'm exactly the same it's so terrible. what you would do now lily is you would take your and it's not the die that you're going to think because to create an aperture you think you know you're going to use that one well uh -huh. no because what i want to do is fit that around the outside and have the inside of the aperture. Okay. So when you line up your card, line that up, 
hold it down. You've got to let your glue dry, so I'm not going to run it through because I'll just show you what I've done. Mm -hmm. Run it through your die cutting machine. Not only will it give you a lovely um, in, in the inner part, but it creates the it creates this aperture part, which is the one that I was going for. Okay. Um, and it will go through your machine, and then that then can simply sit over the top, and it Brilliant. just looks exquisite as a as a. An, it's an interesting fold, shall we call yeah, it? Yeah, think a bit different, isn't fold. it? And that's the thing. It's a masterclass. We've gone on a little bit of a journey, haven't we? And we've had to use a few, fair few bits and bobs. And I mean, goodness me, I've just seen the time. I don't know I where know. it goes in this world. Honestly, building. it they absolutely say, uh, flies all by. All of us say the same thing. Yeah. It flies by. It's funny because people sometimes, when they find out what you do, they say, gosh, two hours on a show, that is an awfully long time. You say, <laughs> no, honestly, it flies by. People never believe you until they stand here. They're like, okay, yeah, it absolutely flies by. Really, <laughs> it it's, it's, it's the same it's if ever I'm uh, producing in the gallery. It's exactly the same. It absolutely flies by. These shows <laughs> always fly. We have so, too much fun, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to pop that onto the inside. And mm. this is, uh, do you remember Frosty and Bright? Do I remember? Well, that's funny you should say that. Oh, well, you, whether you, you remember you, or not, shh, 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 I'll say no more. Shh, shh, Two o'clock tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> now, on this inside fold, this is where I'm going to stick this. Because uh -huh. I want it to sit. So I'm going to line it up that way mm -hmm. and then add the tape. Now, I personally, at this point, would use wet glue. Yeah. Only because it gives me a bit of the wiggle time. Yeah. Um, and it will set like concrete, I it promise will. you. But what it does, it allows me to get that into place because that's what I want to create, this, achieve, this look, to achieve this look. Mm -hmm. Now, obviously, you need to let that dry. If you use the tacky glue, it's quite an instant grab tacky glue. So yes. it yeah. gives you a bit of um, wibble, wibble, wibble wobble, wibble wobble time. Wibbly wobbly. It's a wibble wobble time, uh, Lily. Yeah, but it also it. sticks quite quickly. So um, tacky glue was a good one to use as well. Mm -hmm. But doesn't that create a nice little fold? It certainly it does. Really does. And Love then that. I'm just going to add to the top a little bow. I'm going to pop that into there because I haven't added a bow for ages. And then I've got myself a little sentiment um, from the poinsettia delight. And I'm going to just attach that to both ends. So a little bit onto one side, a little bit onto the other. Go across that middle. And there you go. And oh, again, gorgeous. just a different way that you can use your nesting dies. So it creates an interesting fold. Obviously, mine's still a bit wet, so I'm going to be a bit, bit forgiving. But mm -hmm. And then it can literally just sit into there and create that lovely... Another lovely feature. Absolutely love that. Yeah, another stunning demo. If you get your demos lined up, Debbie, uh, we'll get that voting in just a moment. But that collection that Debbie has just shown us, absolutely stunning, these nesting dies. If you want nesting dies with that little bit of delicacy, that little bit of an intricate edge that are really going to set off your Christmas designs absolutely perfectly, then this is the one to go for, for sure. This is your Christmas nesting die selection. 20 dies in total for a Platinum Club price today of just £26.66 or $30. So first up, we've got our Starry Night. That's a gorgeous design that Debbie's just shown us. Then another of our slimline sort of designs is our Holly and Berries. Beautiful detail in there. Then we go across to our rectangular, kind of like your four by six die sets. This one being that fabulous, beautiful baubles. Then we come on to that gorgeous, sparkling snowflakes. Absolutely stunning with that one. Then finally, we have our square design being our Yuletide Bloom. It's the one that Debbie used in that first demonstration alongside that gorgeous Tis the Season collection. All of those die sets, 20 dies in total. Your Platinum Club price today being £26.66 or $30. But don't forget, if you're using that discount code DROP right the way up to 8 o'clock tonight, you are getting an additional 17% off that purchase, which makes that deal even better now we have had some incredible demos throughout the show but what are you going to vote for as your demo of the show well debbie what have we got to vote for it's going to be very quick who's on socials is it susie t susie, yeah come on susie t apologies uh, right number one let's get quickly in there number one uh, our lovely aperture uh, number two tis the season number three i think yes i think was that one yep <laughs> Number four, I might have got that the wrong way around, but it doesn't matter. Yep. And then number five, and I'm going to use my dry one because that's all nice and dry now. So five, I'll cut me, five, five, Ooh. four, three, yeah. two, oh. or one. Oh. You decide. What a choice, good grief. All so different, all shown us so many different techniques, different skills within each and every single one of those. Wow, how are you guys at home are going to decide? 
I'm not quite sure, but make sure you are getting those votes in because we do not have long to get those votes in at all. Now, while we are getting those votes in, we have a couple more incredible deals that we want to quickly share with you just before the end of the show. So these have proved super popular. Every time we bring these to you, you guys absolutely love them because they are something a little bit different when it comes to your car making. What these allow you to do is they allow you to create your card shapes, your card blanks, but with an absolute twist because they are shaped in terms of the word. So here, first up, we have our fabulous Noel. So you get your outer die, and you'll notice just at the top there, we've got no cutting blade at all. Hang that over the edge of the fold of your card base and it will give you that lovely uh, shaped card just like so. We're also giving you the word itself that you can layer over the top. That's your Noel, 50% saving on that one, taking your Platinum Club price down to £6.79 or $7.99. Absolutely love that one. Next up, we have another option for you. This is the Holly. Exactly the same idea with this one where you've got your outer die, allows you to create your card base, then your inner die to give you that extra detail. Of course, you don't have to just create your card bases with these. Just snip that extra portion off and you will get that complete die cut word. Here you've got your Holly and I love the fact you also have that inner die as well to be able to cut out that aperture with your fabulous Holly. And then finally, we have got our Joy absolutely love this one just absolutely stunning design here joy could be embellished with so many different things you've got in your crafty stash just absolutely perfect maybe you're going to be adding some of your florals around the edge uh, of that frame that you've got there maybe it's going to be some of the items from your tis the season collection that would work an absolute treat as well however you're choosing to embellish these up they're going to look absolutely beautiful but of course you can go for them individually they're all half price but if you want to go for all three, you are still going to get an incredible save. And it's going to be less than £30. It's going to be about £7, but about £21, less than £21 if you part with the Platinum Club for all three. And that's before you're even taking off that 17% saving, which is making that even better. Now, we have finally got our demo of the show has come in. Demo of the show is going to, well, it's very close between number one and number three. Uh, can I remember what number one and number three is? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah between one and three yeah and it's going to number one really yeah well see sometimes it's in place we said this earlier mm. on didn't we sometimes you can keep them really nice and simple and people love that simplicity and i tell you what they probably love the gold oh it just yeah sets the, that gold along to the burgundy just sets them apart so there you go absolutely what a stunning demo wow some amazing demos throughout the day debbie absolutely great inspiration thank, thank you so you. much it's been fabulous craig is actually going to be here presenting for the six o'clock show it'll be craig and debbie uh, so it's bound to be an absolutely fabulous beautiful beginning show so i hope you can join the two guys for that show a little bit later on i'll be back actually on friday i am super excited i'm alongside my good friend corin i'll be on the craft expert side on friday at 11 and 2 wake up call as always to kick start the day but I'm very excited because I have a fabulous craft along coming up at two o'clock. It's all about those festive sentiments and the frame dies that we launched just a few weeks ago. So hopefully you can join me on Friday for that craft along and for wake up call too. A massive thank you for your company throughout this show. Hope you have a fabulous rest of your day. Happy crafting, take care, and I'll see you again very, very soon. Goodbye. <laughs>